thanks to my husband. Oh, daddy. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you, daddy. Good to see you. Yes. Good. You look so good. You look so good. Nice to see you. You too. Daddy. You look good, my dear. Thank you, mommy. Oh. <laughs> Why don't we go inside? Of course. Oh, no. <laughs> You're welcome, my dear. Come in. Oh. Welcome to your room. My God. Mom, what? You are so full of surprises. Huh? What? How did you know? I mean, this looks so much like my room in London. How did you achieve this? Have you forgotten we do video calls on a daily basis? Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, no. Oh, this is so sweet. This is beautiful, lovely, and simple. Uh -huh. oh. oh, Mom. Yes, dear. Thank you for all you do for me. Mm. Your love for your children is second to none. My darling, you are most welcome. Come here. Welcome. Oh, this is really beautiful. Really? I'm really so emotional. Yes, I'm Mom. glad you like it. You like? No, I love it. Like, I love it. Trust me. This brings fun memories. I won't even miss my room in London. Oh. I'm glad you like it. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> So, oh, you're making me emotional. It's okay, darling. It's just a room. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the love and intention. It's all right. It's all right. You're, you're just coming in. So relax. Okay. Take your bath. Mm. And your things are coming up. Yes, please. Let them get No, them you don't <laughs> need to worry. Just relax. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay mom. Thank, Thank you, mom. All right, darling. Oh. 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 So, Nelly, Mom. how was life abroad? Mm. It's uh, awesome, mm. great, um, wonderful. I could go on and on, Mom. You can say that again. <laughs> you know, I want to say thank you um, to you both. You know, for helping me achieve this milestone of my life, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you, mm -hmm. without your support. Oh, <laughs> you're our daughter. <sighs> we owe you all of that. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. And back. I sure will, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. Yes, I forget. Doctor Michael, you know. Mm. You know him now. Yes, yes, of course, my friend. <laughs> he was here a couple of days ago. Hmm, yes. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How is he? No, no. He just came back from the US recently. Mm -hmm. Where he went to do his uh, doctorate in law. Are you fire. serious? Yes. <laughs> I always knew he was intelligent, but I can't. Wow, a lawyer. That's good. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me that. How does it look like? Is it tall like his dad? Is he rich, handsome? <laughs> My dear, mm. he is everything you just mentioned. Wow. That young guy is every lady's choice for a husband. I can bet. And <laughs> you both will make a good pair. I don't understand, Mom. Don't worry. He promised to repeat his visit. <laughs> Whatever. Um, what's that supposed to mean? Mom, can we observe some table manners? Or would you prefer, rather prefer we choke? Come on. <coughs> <coughs> and what is funny? Why are you both laughing? Not nothing, Mom. Come on, eat your food. <coughs> I am sweet. You just eat your food. Yeah. No, forget about that. No. Nelly is here. She's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. She can continue talking half the now. Dad, mom, 
If I tell you but that I understand what you're talking about, then I'm lying. I don't I don't get it that I should marry Junior. Why? How? Um Nelly. You see, Dr. Michael and myself have been friends from way back, from our childhood days. So also, Dr. Lovett and your mother here have been friends from childhood. Yeah, we all know that. So, is it a case of two good friends marrying two good friends? What is this about friends anyway? For the fact that your friends does not mean that Junior and I will end up together as husband and wife. I don't get. Okay, let us look at it this way. We want the relationship between the two families to also bring our children together in matrimony. I still do not understand. Uh, Nelly, what we're trying to say is that uh, Dr. Michael's family and ours have come a long way. The reason we want you and Junior to get married. I still don't understand. I don't love Junior. I can't marry him. No, 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 no. You will marry him. Yes, my dear. Junior's best for you. Mom, I know what's good for me. I know what's best for me. Listen, I see a glorious future, but I don't see Junior in their future with me. No. My dear, we are your parents, but we cannot deceive you. Junior's family is from a reputable home, of which every family will want their daughter to get married into. Well, mom, that's not all that counts in marriage. What about genuine love? Yes. You see, Michael is a young man, the type of young man that every lady will jump at. And by the way, both of you have loved each other from birth, from childhood. Well, Dad, I love him like a brother. He is not your brother. I know, Mom. All I'm saying is... The only reason Junior and I are friends is because our family are family friends. That's why. Then if you both are friends, why can't you be together as a couple? What's so difficult about that? Mom, it doesn't work that way. Ah, God. No, you marry him, Mom. Dad, I cannot marry him, Mom. Don't worry. Eh? When you start living together, love, love will come later. Hmm? You will start loving him. Nelly, why are you pushing me away? Why are you doing this? Can't you see I need you so desperately? Can't you see that? Why are you bothering me, Junior? Why? Nelly. Ever since you came back from the United Kingdom, I've been coming here. Well, you, you've been acting awkward. I mean, just say yes to me, say yes to my proposal, and trust me, everything is going to be fine between us. You need to stop torturing me. On the contrary, you're the one torturing yourself. Come on, that our parents are family friends doesn't mean you and I must get married. Nelly. You and I know there's no one in the picture. Except you are seeing someone that our parents are not even aware of. Junior, if I'm seeing someone, then it's none of your business, okay? That's my business. Well, um, I love the way you speak sometimes. But the truth of the matter is, just say yes to me. See? There's this part of me that you don't know. I am a nice guy. One of the best things that can happen to you as a woman. Take this shot. You will never regret you did. I can see you're already evaluating yourself. But the truth is... Junior, let me just... Let me go straight to the point. I feel absolutely nothing for you. Nothing. Don't you get it? Well, I think at this point, um, I probably might have just to, I just have to share a little family secret with you. 
My mom told me something some time ago. She said to me, um, Junior, do you know that when I married your father, I didn't marry your father for love? And on that fateful day, I was just looking at my mom. She continued. She said, as we got married, along the line, as we age in this union, love came. My love grew for your father. See, let's take this chance. We won't regret we did. Are you seriously okay? Are you sure you're okay? So you're okay with me getting married to you without any emotions, no love, no affection, no chemistry, nothing. Like, is something wrong with you, Junior? You see, Nelly, we can actually do this together. Walk this walk with me, and I can guarantee you there is nothing to regret. Junior, I want to ask you a question. Sure. And I want you to answer me sincerely. Do you truly love me? Or are our parents forcing this whole thing down your throat? Okay, so you want to know the truth. My parents want me to marry you. Yeah. My parents really want me to marry you. So whatever I'm doing right now, I am simply playing their card. Exactly my point, Junior. You don't love me. You're doing this simply because our parents want you to. And the fact is, you don't have to. Come on. For me, I'm not ready to play away my emotions simply because my parents want it. No, I'm not going to play those cards with them. I won't. And I suggest you do say. I beg you, who they not for, my girl? Ah, uh -uh. Now this hot afternoon, now they do back, 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh -uh. The knock we say I just mark it. So you not do die of the Good day. Who are you? My name is Bobby. Chief called me to come and fix some electrical works in the house. Um go inside. The domestic staff should be there. Tell, tell her whatever. Okay. Thanks. Of course not. What's wrong with you? I just resented this the previous one from earlier. <laughs> Kamara, you're naughty, I promise. You're very naughty. Ah, Mary. Well, of course, how are you? I'm fine. Begin to take the television. Ah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's good. Oh, Mary. Who is that fine guy standing at the front of your, your house? That's Oga's first daughter. Only daughter and me. That's Oga's only daughter. Oh, really? The other that school in uh, Oxford University? Yes, that's her. Oh. Atinelli. Oh, you know, I've not met her before. This is the first time I'm seeing her. Oh, okay, okay. Man, she's beautiful. Of course, she looks like her mom. Okay, Bobby. Just don't go there. Just don't go there. Hey, uh, uh, Mary, come on. Uh, is it a crime for you to praise the handwork of God? Come on. 
It's good to praise the handwork of God. Try be your own now. Is that what you are here to do? Are you I not know, going to I, focus on your work and come and do this television? I will focus. I will focus. Uh, I'm here to work. But I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean by you don't know what I'm talking about? Are you not here to do television? You need to focus. As a man, you need to focus on what you are doing. Focus! Forget about a woman. Okay, do your work. Oh well, yeah. So how did it go? I mean, the meeting you're meeting with Nelly. So what happened? Look, I don't think Nelly hurts you. I mean, I can vouch for her. Moreover, she just came back a few days, a few weeks ago. No, 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 no. She can't possibly hurt you. I mean, you, you guys have been friends from childhood. You know, I don't think she's seen any man. But don't worry, I'll find out what the problem is. Mm -hmm. You are the best thing to happen to me. I wish I could just disappear, you know, go someplace and just relax and ah, I'm just so tired and bored. Accept that. She married this boy and give her mother and I you know, a kind child. Nelly, I am your mother. I will always want the best for you. We want you to marry Junior. Mom. Yes, my dear. I'll get married when I meet the right guy for me. My dear. There is no right man or woman anywhere. No perfect person anywhere. What you're saying is different from what I am saying. Love and perfection are two different things. There's a whole lot of disparity between both. Is there a guy somewhere, or some guy you both promised yourselves forever? No. Then what is the problem? I don't love Junior. I don't want to marry him. Why don't you want to marry him? Oh my God. I thought I just answered that. Why are you asking again? That's because you have not said anything. No cogent reason or whatsoever. Mom, for every girl out there, there are qualities a man must possess. And Junior doesn't have half of those qualities for me. Uh, Junior is handsome. He's educated and rich. For crying out loud, that is every lady's choice for your husband. What exactly do you want? Mom, the three things she just enumerated is not a yes stick for marriage. Doesn't make him a marriageable material. Please, I don't love him. Full stop. Can we just stop this? Nelly, are you sure you're okay? Mom, do I look sick? 
because no girl in her right senses will reject the Junior. I just did. If I, what don't you understand? Please, I don't want him. I don't want to marry him. Please. Is this what schooling our brothers done to you? You no longer reason with your head, but through your nose. Wow. Mom. Okay. I'll be in my room. I don't like the tone of this conversation. So I'll just... Nelly! Mom. Nelly! Mom! daughter has completely gone crazy. So many things have gone wrong with her in her blood. I know. I saw it myself. What is wrong with Nelly? Why can't she make use of her head? She been sniffing drugs. I think I need to pay close attention to this girl to find out if she don't have drugs. Because her behavior, you know, I can't understand it anymore. Still doing the work. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Is your madam coming down now? Is that your business? Are you not going to focus on what you are here for? Focus on and do your work. I'm just asking. Oh, not to the hot. Antinelli! Antinelli, who is ready? Yeah. Antinelli! Huh? Sorry. Um, why, why, why did you barge in on me like that? No, I did not barge. I was knocking, but you did not hear me. Oh. Yeah, lunch is ready. Lunch, lunch is ready. Lunch? Yes. No, okay. Uh, sorry. I got carried away. I'll be right behind you. Right. Thank you. Now, wow. Boy, see how soon my fellow man build. Eh? Hey? Now, one rich man like that get him. And here I said the man scatter houses everywhere. Even for this area, he get like five abroad. He get a house anywhere where he enter, and the man house. Hey? Hey? So many questions begging for answers. 
waiting there on me. No, tell me. How some people go come this life? Rich. How some people go come poor as church rats? Eh? No, it makes sense. No, tell me, it makes sense. Ah, well, even for the Bible, if they dear, everybody no go they rich. They get people where they rich for Bible. They get people where they poor for Bible, like Lazarus. Now, see this house now. This house now, now rich man house. Mm -hmm. So this man now, now rich man. You hmm. now, now poor man. So now, so he there for Bible. You know if it do anything about him. What's he come bring that one now? Why you they talk like that? They lie for you. Why you give me to example? You don't look yourself. What you do myself? You, you don't look yourself. Take time, oh. Wow. Okay, go move. See, go check. See, wait, 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 go. What's happening? Security there, they go shoot you. Yeah. You know, they see camera everywhere. Oh, wow. Uh, this man, eh? You know, you see, you see, you see, you see all these rich men. Mm. Their life, then they like stress. This man now, no bomb plenty of children. Now, only three. Child. One girl, two boys. You don't finish. Okay, fine. What's your happen? Tell me now. She fine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the girl no be as in fine understatement. This man picking now, eh? Beauty. Make I describe him. What I mean? Beauty. That's a good meet up. Hey, I go wait for you. Yeah. <laughs> I go there wait you because that's if he are to you for that gate. Mm. As, you, as we stand here safe, I know say that they see us. They don't cook their gun. They wait to make we come close. No, 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 no. Eh? No. Oh, wow. Hey, this night no balance. Oh. I could make this money. Ken. Hmm? This one where you don't the chook eye for money. Any small thing you go from face, begin to see you go make money. No go use me to do ritual. Oh. No go use me. No take me to do blood money. Make I no go to sleep now. Make you use me to do something. No try ammo. Which kind of thing be that one? Go make this money. I don't tell you finish. We make this money. Now so poor men they talk. We make this money. Nebi, what transpired between you and Genia in this house today? I told him the truth. What truth? I will not marry him. Nelly, why are you hell bent on destroying what the ribbons have built with the Michaels? Eh? Junior and his family have declared their intention right from day one. Well, I'm not interested. I don't want to marry him. You and Junior were good friends while growing up. Before you both traveled to acquire high learners. What went wrong? What really happened? Adulthood. Adulthood happened to the both of us. We're grown now and we have different parts in life. And definitely our paths do not cross. So, no. I don't want anything to do with him. Nelly. No. What you do not understand is that this family friendship started from Lovett and I. It's then metamorphosis to our husband, who are best friends, and now to our children. Oh, Mama, where? Because you already told you already told me that separately. Oh, you know? Of course, Mom. You said you you both went to primary, secondary, and tertiary institution. Also, you served in the same state. Uh, love it. Is my friend. She's a friend-born sister. Uh, we're like twins. We did things together. And we love each other. I agree. I must not marry Michael to, to, to also become whatever. But so I thought something is going on between you two. I thought the same too. There's nothing going on between the both of us. Nothing. But come to think of that, let me ask the both of you, why her? Why her? Yes, it must be Nelly. Why? You already know why. You're still asking me. Oh, come on, Mom. Do I have to kill myself before this girl gets to accept me? It's not working. Son, you don't just have to lose faith at this point. 
You need to keep pushing. Now the question is how long do you want me to keep pushing? You want me to keep pushing until I kill myself? Mom, listen. This girl in question doesn't want me. She knows what she wants. And I know what I want. So please. I come to think of that, there are too many women out there who will be so glad to jump on my proposal. And why, 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 why Nelly? Son, please. You don't have to lose faith at this point. You have to keep pushing. Okay? She is my best friend's daughter. And I want my son to get married to my best friend's daughter. It's not too much to ask. At least it will make this relationship very strong. Our relationship with them. Oh, really? Is that what it is? Oh, I see. You don't have an idea what I've gone through in the head of that girl. So please, just stop it, mom. Uh, at this point in time, like I've had it up to here, like I'm so tired of this whole thing. Son, please, just keep pushing. She is the girl, and you're the guy. Darling, you're just sitting here. You're not saying anything. Speak to your son. Let him understand why you should marry Nelly. Eh, please? Junior, go get a life with Nelly. Uh -huh. Okay? Well, Dad, um, I, at this point, I think you want me to kill myself just to get the girl. I wonder what else you want me to do. Do I have to kill myself before she gets her set me? I'm so positive that everything will work out. Yes. Good. And uh, you see, <laughs> you don't expect her to say yes straight away like that. Exactly no, it's my not point. Possible. Uh -huh. She will not. Try to woo a woman is not easy. Try and woo her. Eh? The truth is, I don't really think this is going to work. That's the truth. You people are just compelling me to the things I really don't want to do. The girl doesn't want me. And it's not so I want her that much. It's you people who are compelling me to go see her. And that's the reality. You can do it, my son. Hmm? Juju. Oh, please, mom, don't even patronize me, please. He said it verbatim. He told me point blank that he was just trying to do his mom's bidding. Can you beat that? He said that? Yeah. He said he just wanted to get married to me because his mom said so. Please, I entreat you to allow me. Just, mom, dad, I want to experience love. I want to know what it feels like to be in love, you know, and to be loved right back. But Nelly, nothing is stopping you from falling in love with Junior. Give him a chance to even love you better. Uh, you both should take your time and, uh, and have full taste of what it feels like to be in love. Love is a beautiful thing. Okay? Mom, I can't commit my life to such uncertainty. No. This is where you got it all wrong. A negative way to see life. Hmm? Junior is the best you can have. I assure and reassure you as your mother. Not because he's my friend's son. But mom. No. I agree Junior is a nice guy. Good. Come on, he's my friend. I know him. But the fact remains that I don't love him. There is no chemistry between us. Nothing. I feel nothing for him. I don't see him in that light. He's junior. That young boy we used to play together. That's just it. Full stop. Okay. <sighs> if you don't like the person you that, I'll bring your own person. Let us recognize him. You hear your father? Is this supposed to be an ultimatum because I said I don't love Junior? Come on. You can't force him down my throat. Just let me be. I came back to this country to spend time with my family, to, to have fun, to, to start life afresh. But it feels like you just want to sell me off, throw me out. Just put me out there. What's this? Can you just all let me breathe? Please. It's, it's choking. Ah, God. Okay, see, you guys are really out to frustrate my life. And it's so clear to me right now. Junior, you are the one putting up a drama. You're making the whole thing seem like one Herculean task. Eh? Yeah. Well, it's not. 
for crying out loud. I am tired of this whole thing. Why would you guys want to influence my opinion anytime I have something to say? I am tired of this whole thing. I'm no longer a child. Please, I have my own self to determine things for. Junior, why are you ranting? That I am ranting because I'm tired of this betting game. Betting game? You guys need to stop playing betting games with my emotions. Stop it. And as for Sandra, there's nothing you will say that's going to stop anything. So my candid advice is, get used to the situation and get yourselves familiar with her. I don't understand this boy. At first, he was sounding as if he was buying in the idea. Now he's now acting so irrational and stupid at the same time. What's your problem? Well, I'm, I think I just want to have this easy both. Junior! <laughs> Darling! What, what was it? Do something now. Talk to him. He's not your son. Oh, he's not my son. He's not oh, more your son. Okay. Talk to him. Please. Allow me, please. I, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. What is the problem with this man? I should be asking you his main thing. I should be asking you. Find out what is wrong with your son. He cannot do this to us. And you cannot talk to your son. Have I not been talking? Have I not? I just tinted. I couldn't even see anyone inside that Kika. Not United Kingdom. Eh? You can't be joking here. There's insecurity in this country. It's not UK. Yeah, that would be fine. Good morning, Nelly. What did you just call me? Your name. How did you know my name? Yeah, I know your name even before you came down from London. My name is Bobby. I already know your name. Oh, you do? <laughs> hey, why are you naming? Because you're stalking me, is why. Am I really stalking you? Can you just face what you came here to do? Hey, it's just, an, it's just an harmless conversation, you know. Damn. She's stalking you beautifully. Uh, how are you? Uh, how are you? I'm fine. I came to fix the team. Okay, all right. Yes. Any problem? No problem, fix it. Are you going to see your mother? Is she coming down? Yes. So the TV is showing now, right? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Okay, then. Uh, the TV panel got burnt, but I bought a TV guard to protect it from further occurrence. What is it for? 
um, the TV guard, we use it to protect the, the electronics from getting burned from high or low currents. Mm. Yes. Okay. That means yes. that you call guy and tell him now. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. I, I will. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, Thank you. Uh, Mary. Mary. Uh, Nelly, does she have a boyfriend? Antinelli. Yes. Huh. How can someone like that have a boyfriend? Someone that just sits on her own all the time. She does not talk to anybody. Every time she's in her room dancing or doing something. Really? She does not have a boyfriend. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know about that. I like her. You like who? Hey, I, I like her. I like her so much. I'm not joking here. <laughs> Um, Oga Bobby, you are done facing the TV, right? Yes. You're showing her, right? Your yes. job is your job is finished. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 bye bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come now, now. Come, um, can you help me with her number? I don't have it. I don't have a number. Hey, come on, Mary. Come on, help me with her number now. I say I don't have it. I'm not with it. I don't have a number. I don't have Antinelli number. Which one you don't have? You don't want to give it to me, or you don't have a number? I don't have it. I'm not with it. It's okay. Okay. Bye bye. Good afternoon, ma. Now, what are you discussing outside with the electrician? Nothing, ma. Okay. Mary, are you going to stand there and lie to my face when I heard both of you? Mentioned my name. You were practically discussing about me. So what were you talking about? Ma, um, you only asked for your phone number. My phone number? What for? Ma, you said that he likes you a whole lot. I, oh my God, you mean an ordinary electrician likes me? Wait, wait, is he high on cheap drugs or is he hallucinating? A common roadside electrician claims he likes me. Is he high? Antinelli, he's not a roadside electrician. Then what is he? He's an engineer, a graduate of electronics and electrical engineer. Mm -hmm. Mary, what did he come here to do? He came to face the television. Exactly. So he's a common, ordinary electrician. Okay? Okay. Good. And did you give him my number? No, ma'am. Tell me I don't have it. Go back to the kitchen, go complete what you're doing. Okay. And hurry up because I need to drive out. Okay, ma, I'll be done with Jeff. Get to it already. Can you imagine? Okay. <sighs> There's no gain saying that I have fallen for Chief Ruben's daughter. She appeared from the blues and swept me off my feet. Damn. She's so beautiful. So beautiful. And I know I feel something for her. I'm for 
Holy fuck. Oh, I know I feel something. Matter be this now, eh? Which kind of thing be the sea game? We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. Uh, hi! Which kind of thing be this game? We don't enter, finish. Eh? This one game just go cost my 270k. Hi! Which kind of problem is this? Game matter be this now. You they complain, say similar now, say similar, see, see. Who they, who they make carry similar? You say similar for my game. Who they make carry similar? At least, at least, you your own for the enter. Who tell you? Which kind of problem be this? I go to compare game together, you go to, you go to add your own game. Every day, a person go play fine game. Just one stupid game from nowhere go just come. Come cut person sleep. No. Oh. See, I don't want to move. I don't want to play. Learn who they move. We move now. I don't want to play better the game. I don't want to play better the game. This thing go finish my money. The, yeah, make I go find what I go take my life do. Which, which kind of problem be this? What you want to take your life do? Which life now you want? What you want? I go find work they do see, now. See, see, see. Poverty is so close for you. You see, you want to take, which, which, which you want to take your life do? You know what, you know what. Oh, got me, I go, they run um, one day, one day. 44 million. Man, I go win 44 million like this. That time, eh? Hey! Everywhere go see you. Hey, this thing, this thing does make sense. The person sees more money collect today. Tomorrow, the thing will just collect the money. Finish. Ah, but calm down. Calm down. No, be, no, be, no, be, no, be, no, be, no, be, you know, chop money. You know, chop money, they first day. All this girl, when me and you don't play, the money never go inside them. Um. Don't worry, now we move, now we move. Hey, hey. Oh, boy. I want to frequent that she flew in estate. I think I observe that London girl. Who be who be London girl? The girl we just come back now. That girl we soft we we fair. You know now. I don't understand. What do you don't understand? What do I could explain myself every time, every time. What do you don't understand? I see that babe now. Make I one day make I follow the girl the rapport. Make I soft talk. Hey, you know? hey, yeah. hey. You never ever stand in front of a mirror before. Come look yourself from head to toe. Yes, you Just look yourself. See how poverty they smell for your body. Now this poverty body, you want carry go meet London girl. See that babe? She not go even see you, not to talk of, to even talk to you. She not go try him. I don't blame you now. I don't blame you. Now see finish the course of this thing. Uh. But, but look me now. Look me. Look no. Look me. Take a look at me, soft boy. I go follow that girl with it. You remain for house. I've been on all of you with this. Don't worry now. When I go up, when I go catch you, I, I go follow the baby. Relate now. She go, she go believe. Don't worry, you go, you go believe now. Don't worry. Um, 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 soft. This one where you done the talk, say you won't go the block London girl. You sure should not be my one thousand where you borrow from me. Why you just go flex, babe? Calm down. Calm eh? Calm down. Eh? Calm down. Calm down. Leave me, leave me, leave me, leave me. Africa, good morning. Uh, you know this gets me. You have to hit her so they can hear you. But I am. And let me help you. Africa. Yes, who the ah. for my girl? You want for my girl? Ah. Oh. I've hey. been knocking. Okay, madam. So do you. I better do something for inside. That make me uh, all the ear come close. Mm, it's fine. Thank you. Thank you so much, eh? You're welcome. Bye. Yeah, You're welcome. I just want to live life, because life is not easy. Easy. I have to make it. Make it. I have to do it. I got to do it. I have to live life happily, happily no matter the cost. I have to make it. I have to make it. I have to do it. I gotta do it. I have to live life happily. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Can't you recognize me? Um, no. the guy from yesterday. Oh, 
Oh, uh, yes, the guy who helped me <laughs> with the gate. Oh, thank you so much for yesterday. If not for you, trust me, I would have remained <laughs> out here all day. That's right. Thank you. That's right. I'm sorry, That's I fine. easily don't recognize people's faces. That's no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so, are you Chief Brain's daughter? Yes, why? Uh, well, I mean, who doesn't know Chief Brain in this estate? Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Uh, do you do this every morning? I mean, jogging? Ever since I got back, yes. Daily. Amazing. 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 <laughs> it's okay, thank you. So, um, my name is Ken. Nelly. Nelly? Mm. Oh, nice. Uh, Nelly, yes. would you mind uh, coming to the gym today? Oh, the gym? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done that since I go back into the country. That would be nice. Oh, so that's a yes then. Of course. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow it is. It's a date. Oh no, tomorrow it is. Yes. Not a date. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Woo. What is No. Yeah. I've been doing this all my life, so it's become a routine. Oh wow. Nice, <laughs> nice. Hold on. <laughs> All right, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, what? Um, I just wanted to say you're beautiful. <sighs> thank you. <laughs> Bye. Dressed up, ready to go. I just come back from jogging. You know? I go jogging. Wait, you mean you've gone out to jog and you are back? Bam! The last time I checked, you don't go jogging. What are you saying? I go jogging with Nelly now. Nelly? Mm hmm. Who be Nelly? <laughs> Chief Ruben's daughter. <laughs> Come on, go and sit down there. What are you saying? Nelly, let me the wash. You look me finish from here to toe. You want wash me? Let me the lie give. I see I go jogging. I even collect the game number. She gave me a contact. Make I show you now. See prove him now. Prove him. Show him. See him now. Don't let it be this now. Why are you the wash? Why are you now? Wait, I go call him now. Calm down. I go call him. No talk anything. No shh. Don't the ring. Ah, uh, this one. Hello? 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 Uh, hi, who is this? Uh, it's me, Ken. Oh, hi. Are you home now? Yes, I'm home. I'm home, and you? Uh, I was just trying to... I just got into my bedroom, about to run the shower, my back, rather. Hmm. Uh... Don't forget our appointment for tomorrow by 10. Sure, that would be perfect. Okay, alright. Talk to you tomorrow then. Bye. Ah. Hey! 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 What you got? Ken! <laughs> the same Nelly that wouldn't talk to any guy, not to even. Talk of looking at the person. You don't say I'm not. She don't sleep for any guy. Oh, I tell you, not say. I can't put my mind to a go run now. <laughs> hey, so, 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 where are you guys going to? The gym now. Gym. Mm -hmm. ah, the guy is crazy about going to the gym, man. You know, say from gym now, we go to the gym, some kind of gym. <laughs> This whole idea of you leaving the house 
for early morning jog and not participating in the family morning devotion has got to stop. Oh, Mom, I can pray by myself. This is where you got it all wrong. Absenting yourself from family devotion is way out of it. Okay, I've heard you. Nelly, so many things have changed about you. Life abroad has changed the sweet loving Nelly into something else. No. Life abroad has made me see things differently. Come on, prayer is a thing of the mind. Yes, I know that. But remember, family that prays together stays together. Old sermon, heard it countless times. Then why haven't you joined the morning family devotion? I need to get some water. Hey, mom! Tomorrow ah. is family devotion and you are joining us. Okay, no need drinking water at this point. What is wrong with this girl? Yes, they said um, the price is 58 million. That's what the land is going for. Yes. I can tell that. Is it really more? Son? Hey, mom. Are you leaving already? Yeah. Uh, let me call you back. Please. I'm actually lowering dates to work. All right. Go well, okay? All right, mom. But don't see. forget what we discussed. Mom, please, it's too early to start this. I beg of you, put that down, please. Son, please, try and see Nelly after closing from your law chamber today. Mom, why, why are you doing this? What do you start to get from this whole thing? Why? Son, please, see Nelly. She is a sweet, loving girl. She is the only one that is befitting to be my daughter-in-law. At this point in time, I think we are beginning to overflow this whole thing. Please, I beg of you, let this water So please do this for me. If I tell you that I'm seeing nearly after work, then that means I just lie to you. I can't do that. Son, please. Mom, see you when I come back. I love you. Nelly. Nelly. Please give me the chance to love you and to love you even more. Please, Nelly, marry me and make me... Are you out of your mind? Are you sick in the head? What's wrong with you? No, no, I don't get it. Are you not a joker? You come to me with this useless cheap ring you got from those people, Aboki that hog jury. And no, no. you're asking... And, and, do I look like no, a joke no, to you? No. What's wrong with you now? N what kind of insult is this? Nelly, please. Please, don't. Get out. Please, I beg you with whatever you hold so dear to your heart. Don't do what you will regret eh? after. Regret? Please. Did you say regret? Regret saying no to a complete and total failure like yourself? Regret? Will you leave this place? Get out! What's wrong with this one? Huh? What kind of insult is this? Get out of this place! Nelly. Cheap ring, go. Come and collect your cheap ring because you need it. Get out of this place. Come and take this cheap ring from this place. Uh -uh. Fish, you, fish, you talk. People pray, fish, you come and talk. What's this now? Hi, Nelly. Mom, can you imagine that, that non entity? Can you imagine? Look at the nonsense, rubbish, stupid, dirty ring he brought to, to come and add to my hand. Can, can you imagine Nelly. that? Mom. <sighs> You rejected Junior, and now you have also rejected Bobby. Are you sure something is not wrong with you? Huh? Mom, yeah? you're asking me if something is wrong with me. Wait, wait, you, <coughs> wait. You actually expect me to accept a proposal from that? Mom, electrician? Oh God, please, oh. Nelly. Bobby is not an electrician as you think. Just that he comes around to help your daddy with electrical work in the house because that's what he read in the university. He's actually a graduate of electrical engineering. Mom, I don't believe you. Yes. You know what? You made a mistake. You should have just... You, you're still young enough. Why not give birth to another child so you can just marry that one off to him? I don't get. Why are you in a rush to sell me off? I am not interested in that non-entity. What Please. is it that you don't get? Huh? Mom, I want nothing to do with him. His mere sight irritates me. I don't want him. I don't get you. 
What is it you don't get, mom? You actually expect me to be with that thing? No! You know what? When the, the right guy for me, when he comes, you, 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 you will know that someone has come. What, what was this? And who is he and what does he represent? Mom, trust me. It will be worth your while. Hmm? Just patience. Mm. Yes. Bring him home and stop this, you hide and sick game. Mom, there is no hide and sick. It's everything I want in, in a man. It checks all the boxes. You, you know what? I you get want to see, him. to see that person that is better than Junior and Bobby. Mom, you get to see him sooner than you expect. And I promise you, you will just, you, you will fall in love with him. It's all shades of cuteness. He's handsome. He's everything I want in a man. In fact, I picked him for myself. You know, by myself. Yes. Daughter, what defines a man is not his facial look and physiognomy. Forget appearance and focus on the man that lies within. Okay? Mom. No, Ted. I'm off to the gym. And please, um, tell Mary to prepare something for me because I'll be really hungry when I get back. Very important. I'm super tired. My bones are weak. Uh, uh, well, I guess it's because you're not used to this whole stuff, yeah? <laughs> Ever since I got back, I haven't been to the gym, I promise. Ah, uh, well, since you've resumed, over time, everybody will get used to it. Well, how come you're so flexible? I mean, like, how do you know how to do all those things you did? Well, I used to be a gym instructor before I dive into business. Wow. Yeah. Well, why am I even surprised? Come on, look at your body built, your muscles. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's pretty obvious. It's uh, all good. Uh, so, I guess. Um, yes, head we out. should head out. But please, I'm too tired to drive. In fact, fatigue even. So, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. So, where are we headed to? Well, just let's drive to the mat because I'm super tired. I need to refresh. Okay, to the mat. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> So, do you have anything in mind exactly to get at the mat? Ah, uh, maybe. The weather is hot, so ice cream. <laughs> come on, after out. come on. I'm just gonna come on, stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's just go there. <laughs> Super, super nice. <laughs> I know. Hey. Come on, then. Uh, <laughs> hey, no, that's not fair. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't worry. This time, this time, this I time. I don't want. Come on. I don't want. Don't no. be a chicken. What's that? No, no. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Dick. Dick, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? I'm done. You missed your road. <laughs> I'm done. Um. You'd have taken the other way. That uh, way is faster. There's, there's other cuts here. Ah, so. uh, yeah, we have to go around. You have to go around. Yeah, I'm taking you to your father's house. Okay, take. Yeah, 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 this time, this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Oh my world. Okay. Ah. Why did we, Why did you hold? Uh, that's because I'm home already. Oh, that means I get to see your house. Uh, no, not today. I mean, I have to quickly rush up to the office. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah, you know, today's first parents already. Yeah, of course. So I have to, you know. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> um, what was that for? Oh, I'm sorry. I maybe I shouldn't have um done that. Uh, um, um, no, I mean um. See your eyes are saying something. What are they saying? I have to run along. Okay? Now I'm widening to you. Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> was really succulent. Oh, I wish I can kiss him over and over again. And I wish he can kiss me all over. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to feel him inside of me. I can't wait to caress him, touch him. <laughs> oh, I'm such a cute guy. Can is so sweet. Uh, definitely. He's the guy for me. My guy, how far now? This one you're just shaking your leg in all excitement. What's going on now? Talk to me. My guy. Uh -huh. She kissed me today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. eh? 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 I still hear you. Eh, eh. Was it during the gym or after workout? <sighs> Look, I, I actually acted as a gym instructor today, you know. I know after teaching a couple of things. You know me now. <laughs> you know, holding the ways, you know. Bad I was going to see. Hey. Homo. Now, so. Yeah, um, you, they, they try, no worry. Ha! Huh. Yeah. See, yeah. I can just you. That's how I just did. She just kissed me first, though. Ah, unexpectedly, you. I just did. Yeah. I, I see me can retaliate the. No man now. No man level. Why you can't retaliate the kiss? No, she said she wanted to come to my house, though. Huh. Which house? This house? Ha! Huh. No, no. Ha! Huh. I was even the one driving self. I just drive, go park for one front of one big mansion like that. Mansion? Mm -hmm. uh, why? Do, do you know the owner of the house? I won't take no owner of the house. I just parked in front of the mansion. I went to the car, was out of sight. So I begin to come out. So. <laughs> no more. This one, they risk you. Oh why? But you should have just told her the truth now. Eh? 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 Told her what? The truth? Yes, now. Wow, you want me to get wrong? Why should you leave me now? Uh, after my walkings. Oh. Now, wow. So, so when do you intend to tell her who you truly are now? Ah, oh, bro, look. A man has got to do what he's got to do, man. Even if it means lying. Just to keep that girl close to me. Huh. So if she comes close to you now, on a done day, together, how do you intend to remedy the situation? Mm, well, I know what I'm doing, man. I just don't want her to see me as a bro guy. Yeah, but you still need to understand that any relationship that is built on lies will never stand the test of time. You suppose know now 
How you got? What you go do? I don't know which that we will go cross up. Hey, but you seem to be bad boy, yo, but. He try, he try, he try. I can't talk, I can't talk, I can't talk. You can't talk. Can't talk. Can't talk. Can't talk. speak English, don't tell me, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Back here, with the phone oh, 007. Oh, God. James Bond. Oh, God. We'll be saying she don't follow anybody talk. I see that voice. So, so, when you grab her, you can't tell her, say, may she, may she sit up more. Hey, 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 we have you been more than I have been searching for you. And I have been searching for you for all my life. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'm good. And you? How are you? Ah, I'm just there. Just having a restful day. Um, I should come to your house. Uh, are you... Are you sure that's the right thing to do? I mean, are your parents not in? Uh, no, no, there's no problem. I mean, I, I, I can actually come. I'm just, I'm just thinking if it's okay by you for me to come to your house. Okay, no problem. Um, just send me the address. And I'll be there. All right. Bye. I wish I could make it up there, there. Doesn't matter how it comes. comes. I'm ready to do anything to make it. Whether by hook or crook, if I have to lie, I, I will. will. Why they knock my gate like this? Who you be? Um, please, I'm here to see Nelly. You want to see my madam? Yes. Uh -uh. Where to be your name? My name is Ken. Ken? And you want to see my madam? Yes, I just said I want to see Nelly. Well, I better turn around, my know whether you carry his bit to see my madam. Oh yeah, wait here. Make I go tell my madam say, that's in the final. If my madam will permit you, say make I carry you enter. I will carry you enter. Make I go see.
I don't go tell my madam. My, my madam say make I carry you enter. You hear me? Aye. Match your leg. Match him. Match him. Match him. Match him. She said I hear now. Now they sound well. Now just the waka waka in here. Aye, follow me enter. What are you looking for? Your your car. Um, uh, I had to leave that at the car wash. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, but how do you intend to go? I'll just walk to the junction and take a cab to the car wash. That won't be a problem. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, baby. <laughs> hmm? mm -hmm. I'll be back again. Okay. Hmm? Man brought me to my house. Oh, <laughs> that was Ken, my boyfriend. Did you say your boyfriend? Yes. What's wrong with what I said? Am I not old enough to have a boyfriend? On the contrary, I think you are too old to be talking about boyfriend. You should I be talking about building your own home and not boyfriends? Well, he has good intention. Good intentions. Like. He asked me to marry him. And it's making you feel like this? You are thinking of getting married to a young man that we barely know? Eh? Dad, he's a nice guy. Besides, he's the one I want. He's the one you want. Okay, tell me. Who is he? I just told you that, Dad. He's Ken, my boyfriend. When your father asks you who is a man, I don't want his name. I have nothing to do with his name. What does he do for a living? How many companies does he have? How many people does he have on his payroll? That is what I want to know. <clears throat> well, uh, that's simple. He's a contractor. That sounds to me like a job man, handyman, you know, to somebody who walks from street to street looking for what to do. He's a jobless man. He's a gold digger. Dad, he's not. He's a contractor. On what? Okay, tell me. He executes contracts. He wins them, mm. then he executes them. Yes. He's a contractor. Okay. Contractor? What if there's no contract? What does he do? Anyway, tell him I want to see him. Hmm? Okay, Dad. 
Dad, is that why you're angry? Wait. Hey, uh, Tim. Can no come work today? No, no come work. Ah. In the okay, so? Uh, no, no shaking. In the okay. Eh. Uh. Uneka, why you ask another ask people? You know, no say, see the artist, see the artist, see the man at the top of everything. Hey! I know that. Hey! 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 She she you not get not come work. I'm not she she you not get a phone fan boy. They carry come they call your see beers. You not come work. See your sponge baby. Come 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 work. You come work. You you get you get this guy shirt. You get this guy shirt. You get this guy shirt with your incomplete baby. You don't see my thing something. Engineer never come pay us. So body they prepare. That one he concern he concern me. No worry. I'm sure sure. My shoe. Yeah. And they come. Ah, why they go now? I saw your daughter kissing and uh, clinging onto one boy at the gate on my way back. What? Oh my God. Has she lost every sense of reasoning? I, I have told her to bring the boy to me tomorrow. Failing to do that, I will teach Nene who I am. Oh my God. She opined that Junior is not good enough for her. Right in this compound, she also rejected Bobby, who was here earlier today to ask for her hand in marriage. Bobby was here today? Yes! Ha! Huh. Your daughter insulted and humiliated that young man and called him all sorts of unprintable names. She even went as far as throwing the ring back to his face. What? Yes! Come, 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 come and collect your cheap ring, Come and collect your cheap ring because you need it. Get out of this place. Come and take his cheap ring from this place. Uh -uh. Fish, is, fish will talk. People pray fish will come and talk. What's this now? Hi. Nelly. Mom. Can you imagine that, that non-entity? Can you imagine? Look at the nonsense. Rubbish. Stupid dirty ring he brought to, to come and ask for my hand. Can, can you imagine Nelly. that? Mom. <sighs> You rejected Junior, and now you have also rejected Bobby. Are you sure something is not wrong with you? Ah. Mom, yeah? you're asking me if something is wrong with me. Wait, wait, you, <coughs> wait. You actually expect me to accept a proposal from that? Mom, electrician? Oh God, please, oh. Nelly. Bobby is not an electrician as you think. Just that he comes around to help your daddy with electrical work in the house because that's what he read in the university. He's actually a graduate of electrical engineering. Mom, I don't believe you. Yes. You know what? You made a mistake. You should have just... You, you're still young enough. Why not give birth to another child so you can just marry that one off to him? I don't get. Why are you in a rush to sell me off? I am not interested in that non-entity. What Please. is it that you don't get? <sighs> huh? Mom, I want nothing to do with him. His mere sight irritates me. I don't want him. I don't get you. What is it you don't get, mom? You actually expect me to be with that thing? No. Do you know what? When the, the right guy for me, when he comes, you, 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 you will know that someone has come. What, what was this? And who is he and what does he represent? Mom, trust me. It will be worth your while. Hmm? Just patience. Mm. Yes. Bring him home and stop this, your hide and seek game. Mom, there is no hide and seek. It's everything I want in, in a man. It checks all the boxes. You, you know what? You I get to want see him. to see that person that is better than Junior and Bobby. Mom, you get to see him sooner than you expect. And I promise you, you will just, you, you will fall in love with him. It's all shades of cuteness. He's handsome. He's everything I want in a man. In fact, I picked him for myself, you know, by myself. Yes. Daughter, what defines a man is not his facial look and physiognomy. Forget appearance and focus on the man that lies within. Okay? Mom. Noted. 
I'm off to the gym. And please, um, tell Mary to prepare something for me because I'll be really hungry when I get back. Very important. And Bobby told me he won the American Visa Lottery and he needs a wife desperately. But he did tell me he was going to come for my daughter. Really? Huh? Oh my God. Huh? Why do Nelly keep rejecting good men? Why? Huh? No, instead of good men, she would not bring good for nothing boys like that one she brought. Anyway, I made myself clear to her. Failing to bring that boy to me tomorrow, Nelly will know the kind of person I am. She will know why I am called Papando. Honey, could it be that boy she bragged so much about that is handsome? <laughs> that boy I saw at the gate today. My dear, I know a gold digger when I see one. That is the big crooks attached to it. Nelly is so daft, she cannot read in between lines. Ah, ah, Manchi. Alpha. My God. I, wait, wait, as I won't come out for house, mm. I wake you. You tell me, say you want sleep. Now make I leave you come out. What did they, they, they play? What's going on? I've been they sleep now. Uh -huh. Now on top of my sleep, uh -huh. she placed me on call. Who placed you on call? Nelly now. You could spoil mood every time I did it. Ah, ah. I didn't tell you. Ah, ah. But my BC, you want take take off. Ah, ah. Ah, hey. hey, no, hey. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah. Huh? See if I take take off, eh? Mm hmm, my guy. I run, no. Oh boy. Hey. Where I go? Where I go? Where we go? A house. Hey. Oh boy. Eh? I did tell Wait. you. You mean say done? Hey. 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 <laughs> my guy. Hey. Four round. Should we dog? My boy. Hey. My boy. That girl won't kill me. Do they do? Oh baby, this is uh, uh. Oh boy, Amo. So this is my first one I run, no. My sister mission be that one. My brother, I agree. My office school to run. Hey. Ah. Eh eh eh. Half a half a. How much you give me? Ah. Now you go to work, I go. I say, I say, you go to work. Be serious now. Ah boy, calm down. Now you get the way they take run this matter. I understand, you go, you go package, you go arrange. You, you they talk so on top of the four and you know. What you they talk? She don't give you anything. My brother, see now, me, I tell him, see now, from office, I they come. You know, see now, package. You don't see me now. Office, Which quota. office? Don't worry. This matter, eh? I go eat, see? I go eat, they just you two, they complain. Why, why you no play this tape? Tell this girl I should go. Forget about that. This girl will help you now. Why you they Papa, don't worry. Now, me, they run this matter now. I go take my cat's answer to do the so, work. So, so, as you don't do four rounds now, what you go chop this evening? You know why they ask you? Mm -hmm. You know why they tell you? Why? I don't get money to borrow you. Where would they go? Why did they do this now? I never even collect my money from me. Me, your guy. Me, your guy. Me, your guy. Me, your guy. Leave me. Engineer, no way, see. Where engineer? Where engineer give you? No way. Where engineer? No way. I bet I'm going to collect my money from you. More they go, more they go. You know, say engineer, I know they give us some money. I bet leave that guy, more work. She she that guy no get. You know what walking in front time boy. Yeah, I'm gonna walk me with that guy. Sunny. Oh, hi, Dad. Mom. Oh, there you are. Uh, oh, you guys are having a great time. Of course, of course. Mm. Well, and I see. That is what we want for you. Oh, I know ah. you guys. Yo, I love you. <laughs> um, I have to leave my room. Hey, how did it go? What exactly are you? I thought you were with Nelly. Oh, Nelly? No, no I wasn't with Nelly. I was with Sandra or Fru. And who is Sandra? Oh, mom, Sandra, the girl I'm supposed to marry. The one I'm getting married to in period, that's it. Why are you acting as if you don't know her? You know the girl in question. Sandra, the one you know. The one I want to get married to. Lies. A big. What? Lie. That girl will not enter my house. Did you hear that? She will not. 
you heard your father. Sandra is a no-no in this family. She is not coming into this family. Get that into your head. You don't walk out on us. You know, will you come back here? Come back here. Son, you have a whole lot to benefit from Nelly. She has economic values. Think about it. Nelly is the right person for you. Why are you doing this? Why are you people pushing me? Why do you keep pushing me into doing what I don't want to do? How would you feel if you wake up someday and find out that I've committed suicide and died and go? How would you feel as parents? Is that what you want? Tell me! There is no way you keep pushing me to a girl that does not feel anything for me. Even if you have rejected Sandra, I don't care. At this point in time, I don't mind taking Sandra somewhere else and get married to her without or with your consent. Yes, and that is exactly what I would do. And as for the family benefit that comes with marrying Nelly, you might as well go ahead and marry her and keep the benefit to yourself. I am not interested. Did you hear your son? Huh? You heard him? Dad, oh. um, Mom, uh, meet um, Ken, my boyfriend, Ken, my dad, my mom, um, Chief Ruben, Justice Charity. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, um, good, good day, sir. Good, good day, Mom. Welcome to my house. Thank you very much. Yeah, Nelly. Dad. Why don't you get him something to drink? I asked my daughter to bring you that I want to see you. Oh, okay, sir. Um, are you her boyfriend? That is, what are you to her? Ah, uh, she's, she's my friend, sir. Your friend? What are your intentions towards her? Uh, um, sir, I, um, um, marriage. Marriage, Dad. Um, yes, sir. I, I want to marry your daughter. That means you are my son-in-law today, right? Uh, um, by God's grace. So tell me, who are you and what are you? Uh, I'm a contractor, sir. Contractor on what? Sir, I, I don't understand. You said you are a contractor. So what kind of contract do you do? When was the last time you executed the contract? Oh, um, um, I'm okay. Um, uh, babe, can you just stop stuttering and answer him already? Tell him everything he wants to know. Okay. Hi, Mom. Hi, son. Good evening, Mommy. Um, Mom, someone greeted you. I heard her the first time. Sandra, right? Yes, Mommy. Stop calling me Mommy. I am not your mother. And I can never be your mother. Mom, can you stop this? I think you're embarrassing my guests at this point. Can you just stop it? Shut up, my friend. And allow me to talk to this thing. Mom, I will not stand here and watch you call my guest names. That doesn't make sense at all. And if I do, what will you do? Just calm down, okay? My mom is like this. Hey! hey! Go, digger. Listen and listen, code. 
I don't want to ever see you in my house. I don't want to see you around my son. My son is engaged to another. He can never marry you. He can never marry you. Nonsense. He will never marry you. Hear that? Stupid girl. Nonsense. Um, sir, um, so basically one of our contracts we had to work with um, Rubenko Venture Limited. Yes, sir. Wow. When was the last time you executed a contract for Rubenko Ventures? Um, that, that should be, that should be eight months ago. Eight months ago. Rubenko Ventures, I know, has so many departments. So, what department did you work for? Sir? Um, can, can just answer, answer him. Can you stop fidgeting? Talk. Say something. See the young man who brought to my house here to lie about his identity? Dad, he isn't lying. Um, the thing is, he's, he's very tensed. Mm. Well, don't be tense, just calm down. We don't eat people here. Hmm? Um, what is the name of your company? Uh, Kendo Enterprises. Kendo Enterprises. Kendo Enterprises. Where is this situated? Sir? Your office address, where is this situated? <sighs> Um, Dad, why all these interrogatory questions? You're making him uncomfortable. Uh, he's, um, he's tensed already. He, he feels like he's on hot seat. Uh, well, well, Daddy, there's no point, you see? Uh, what I want you to do now, take this fake man you brought to my house out of this place this minute. Uh, sir, sir, look, I really love your daughter and I want to marry her. You heard my husband. Leave this minute. Um, He's a broken liar. Excuse me. Mom! This girl. He was just, just blabbing. What nonsense? Mom! 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 What was the meaning of what you just did? I just told the classless girl the truth. What truth did you just tell her? That my son would never marry her. Oh, please. Is this what it's all about? Well, I'm sure you and dad must have heard stories about two lovers who made their way and left the shores of the country, probably go somewhere else and get married without a concept and knowledge of their parents. Well, from the way you're acting, it's obvious that that's your portion, mom. And try it, Junior. And I will tell you that you suckled this breast. And I will use the same breast that you suckled to lay curse on that marriage. Oh, please. Mom, why are you acting this way? Why are you acting as if you're not learned, whereas you are? Mom, you're highly late, and if anyone should be saying things of this kind, not you. I just want you to understand that it's quite late to stop I and Susan. It doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. Please, just stop it, please. It's not going to work. You cannot marry her. Except I didn't give back to you. Really? Mom, why are, you, why are you trying to fight what you cannot change? Can't you see that it's too late? I mean, no one can stop I and her anymore. It's the fact. Well, um, I think I have to go because I have things to do. Junior, stop that. Junior, I bore you in my stomach. I brought you into this world. I gave birth to you. I took care of you from childhood till adulthood. And now that you're supposed to do the simple thing for me as a good son. No, you cannot. Hmm? You wore Sandra. Use that same energy you use in wooing Sandra to woo Nelly, to marry you. Is that too hard for you to do? Is it? Oh, mom, I, while you were saying this, something came to my mind. And I think you'll like it. I think that's the solution to this whole thing. Mom, how about... 
we go marry Nelly for your husband as a second wife. What? Yes, I'm just thinking about that. And maybe Nelly would come in as a co-wife. Maybe that would put an end to all these shenanigans. I mean, don't you think it's making sense? Mom, please, I beg you in the name of God Almighty. It's too late to stop I and Sandra. I have to go right now. I love you. Junior! Junior, come back here! Junior, we have to fix this right now. You're not going to marry that girl. You cannot marry that girl. I cannot be alive and watch you marry that girl. No, it's not possible. You can't marry her. Let me see how you do that. Ah! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? How? Eh? What? You couldn't even coordinate a simple speech before my parents. How would I coordinate a simple speech before your parents when your father is actually bombarding me with so many questions? Is he the only rich man in, in, in this town? Watch your tongue. Or, or else what? Don't no, tell like me what. That. Did you have to lie that you did a contract with my father's company? Me? Lie? How? <sighs> oh my God. Rubenko Ventures. That's my father's company. Oh. By that look on your face, I swear you don't even know about that. Come on, what were you even thinking? Your dad is old. Meaning? Meaning he possibly does not know all the companies he has had businesses with. <laughs> you think my father will, will execute a contract with you and he, he won't even remember that he has? Are you okay? Kennedy, have you been lying to me? Lying to you? Who are you? You're not asking me questions you should have asked since. That's not the point. Can you answer me? I'm sorry, I've been lying to you. Do you know if you had just told me the truth about yourself, I, I would have just loved you. Regardless of... Oh God, regardless if you're poor or rich, I'd, I wouldn't have even cared. What would I have done? What would I have said when your father was bombarding me with so many questions? Rupinko was the only name that came to my head. I didn't know it was your father's company. What other things have you been lying about? So many things. So many things. Okay. I still do not understand what has gotten into Nelly. I thought she's educated and exposed. She just brought that that good-for-nothing, jobless idiot into my house. To eh? think that she left Junior and Bobby all because of that fool. <sighs> anyway, don't worry. Let her just come to the office tomorrow to pick up the job of the admin officer. Let me see how she's going to gallivant around town with that fool. Yes, my husband. That is a very good idea. She cannot be sitting and idling away at home doing nothing. No, she needs to get herself busy. Nonsense. And when next I see that idiot in my house, I am going to commit murder. Just tell her what I just said. <laughs> Ken, or whatever he's called, will not dare step his two left legs into this compound. Never again. He will not. What are that nonsense? Okay. Fine. Look me in the eye. Tell me. What do you do for a living? I'm a job man. What, what what do you mean by you're a job man? I I'm a mason. I <laughs> you <laughs> you mean I slept with uh, someone who mixes sand cement. Babe, listen, oh I figured if I told oh. you what I was doing, you wouldn't give me a chance. Don't, don't even touch me. I'm sorry. You, you, you're sorry? What? what? Oh my God. You, you know what? I, oh, Just go. Get out. Are you asking me to leave? Get out. Listen to me. I'm sorry. Listen, listen, listen to what exactly? Please, just forgive me. I'm, I'm sorry. Ken, get out of this place. Don't, don't force my hand. I don't want to have to push you. Get out. I'm sorry. Shush, get out. <laughs> I mean, I, I 
just said, oh my God, 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 oh my God. Did this even happen? How? Oh. Oh. How could I descend so low to... I can't believe it. I can't believe I slept with an ordinary mason. <sighs> He's returned me. Hey. Hmm? I love you too. I have a question for you. I ask you a question. Go ahead. You know, as funny as it sounds, mm. I want to have you for keeps. Um, what does that mean exactly? Okay. I want, I want you to be my wife, the mother of my kids. Wait, are you asking me to marry you? Of course I am. <laughs> yes. You marry me? Yes, I'll marry you. For real? I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> He made me fall for him. I fell for him. And he just. Oh my god. How could I have been so naive and stupid? What was I even thinking? Oh God, how could I have slept with such a broke guy? Why is he, why does he keep calling me? Hmm. My brother. That's why I for take the police station now. Police station? Huh. I still if I be as waiting. Mm. What's it happen? See the way that man just interrogates me, like if say, you no, know, I come for interview. More they interrogate me as if I did hot seat. Brother, don't they lie where I lie, they still catch me. Oh. I, I told you. Eh? It's like I saw this thing coming. See, speaking the truth doesn't rob you of anything. Rather, it will go a long way to help you. Now it's going to take a whole lot for that family to trust you again. You ask me, what do I do? I see I'll be contractor now. Eh? I see I don't even contract some kind, no jobs, you know, for companies. Uh, for example, Rubenko Venture. Ha! As I mentioned, Rubenko Venture. My brother. Rubenko Ventures! Benko. You know nothing that you and get them? I won't take no. Hey! I won't take no now. Eh? This man for his police carry me. Oh. I for don't this sell like this, like this, like this, like this. Fuck off. Mess up. Guy. See, as he be like this now, eh? The whole thing don't scatter. The only person with his save you now and Delhi. And that's if she still gets small love for where you did. If not, eh? No worry, forget them. Everything like this now, don't dabaru. Take care of the vest for me. She was so mad. She had to send me out of her father's compound. Hey! 
Bro! But why should you go send you out? Now what are they trying to make you no do be this? Now what are they want you to make you no do be this? See the other day, tell her see your, 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 your car there for car wash. This time when you go tell her say maybe you get accident, the car can't scatter, can't crash. You tell her see the car wash. It's just a lie, some kind of lie where we say you know if you defend. You say if you know they do it, now calm down for me now. That is they pay me now because I tell you from the beginning. The man forgive you one, one maybe manager position, you go employ me as supervisor. He never better for us. That's all. Fuck up. That's all. Fuck up. Trying to call her and she's not even picking up. Let me try again. It's ringing. Pick up now, pick up. Need to answer him anymore. I think I know just the right thing to do. Let me ask him what madness has come over him. She's calling me. She's calling me. Hello, hello, baby. Don't, don't, don't even try it. Don't call me that. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I know I messed up. What is wrong with you? Are you stalking me? What's this? No, 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 I'm not stalking you. No. Like I said, it is over between us. Just leave me the hell alone. Okay? Babe, please now. Just just forgive me. I know I'm I know I wronged you. Can you just leave me alone? It is over. You don't want to Don't call in fact, don't message me. Don't call me. Simple. Full stop. 
I'm, I'm baby, don't hang up, okay? Look, I'm sorry now. Eh? Look, I'm not, I've not been okay. I know I messed up. I would do anything possible to right my wrongs. Just please give me a chance. Hello? 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 Listen, whatever we had, you killed it with your own hands. With your lies. <laughs> I don't care, it is over between us. Over. O-V-E-R, over. Just simple English. Don't you understand English? Don't call me anymore. Ah. Life is complicated. Life is complicated. I lost her after all my efforts to win this girl. I built a love relationship with Nelly and destroyed the same relationship with my hands. <sighs> Kennedy and lies. Timothy told me this, so now I see what I've got to myself into. I should have just listened to him. I should have told Nelly and her people the truth. I'm sure by now my life would have taken a new turn. I wish there's something I can do to reverse all this. All I ask is a second chance. It's obvious I can't get him off my head. I miss him. And I love him. How long will I continue to stay angry with him? Yeah, he just made a simple mistake. Just one mistake. Friend, I know it. I'm sorry I was angry with you. No, no, no. You you have every right to be angry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay, I've forgiven you. You know, as much as I like to make you pay for what you did, but I love you regardless. Babe, thank you so much. I, I, I look, I'm so sorry. I, I wish your mom and dad would even forgive me too. I'll help you talk to, to them, okay? Really? Please, thank you so much. Thank you. I, I'm sorry I messed up. I, I want to come to your place. Really? Because we have a lot to talk about. I want to see if there's anything I can do for you. B babe, are you for real? Um, well, we'll talk, we'll talk more when we'll see, all right? Just forward your address to me. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I, 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 I mean, I'll, I'll send it now, now, now. Okay. Bye. Address. 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 
Tschüss. Tschüss. <lacht> Team! Uh, go and get ready. You're starting work in your dad's company today. Work? I don't understand. You've been appointed as the new administrative officer of Rubenko Ventures. And your appointment takes immediate effect. Yes. How come no one told me about it till now? That we're telling you now. Mm. So go and get ready. You're leaving for the office. No, mom. You can't just spring things on me. You need to... I should have been informed. I... No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it, please. What's that? You will. No, I won't, Mom. When you finish speaking the grammar, hmm, just go inside and get ready and go to work. Dad, I do not have problem with the appointment. What I have a problem with is you not informing me about it. You can just, I need time. I need to ease into it. I, I need to be prepared as someone about to start work. You don't just expect me to jump and start... No, it's not happening. Please, what's this now? Nelly? Mom, no! Ah. Ah. This strong firewood. Thank you once again. Mm. Yes, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Ngalapwesele, what is going on between our children? Mm. Remember you promised that your daughter Nelly is going to get married to my handsome junior. What is going on? Love it. This children will not kill me. Do you know that my daughter left gold for a low life? Who is he? I am sorry to say this. She brought that fool to this house and he was busy lying about his identity. You can imagine that. Hmm. So she rejected my son for that classless idiot? Hmm. My dear friend, you can imagine. And she's hell-bent on getting married to that boy. Eh? Is she pregnant for him? My friend... I wouldn't know. No? You don't say that. You should know. She is your daughter. We parents should be close enough to our children to know what they do behind us. Not when these children are old enough to take care of themselves. Nelly have lived all her life in UK without her father or I to question what she does. Except when we visit the UK on vacation. Uh, trying to dictate for her who to love is way too low. We have done that severally, but she's unyielding. Same with my son. He is of the insistence of marrying one classless Sandra. Ooh. With or without the consent and blessings of my husband and I. Love it. I don't know what else to do. You see, I have pushed and pushed. And I am still pushing. I have even used threat on my son. But the more I thought that, Nelly makes things so difficult for my son. You see, I know my son, I can see through his mind. He has been through a lot in your daughter's hand. Yes, you're right. Junior knows a thing as tolerance. He has endured so much in Nelly's hands. Whatever decision he has taken, it's fine by me. My friend, do you know what? My son sees us, his parent now, as the devil that doesn't want his happiness. Hmm. My dear friend, it is well. It is well, oh. So, hmm. tell me, who is this girl that has captured his heart? Ah. <laughs> well, her name is Sandra. Okay. She is very beautiful. Wow. Yeah. She's very beautiful. <laughs> and with the look of things, uh, she's a good girl. Yeah, I can see. Mm. <laughs> All right, my friend. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. The gas spoils. Oh, no. No, they can't. Oh, we'll the gas spoils. <laughs> We've been together before they were born. Of course. Yeah. I'm just a girl.
girl in love I didn't know I'd fall like this What can I do to prove my point? Cause I've made up my mind To follow my heart I don't care about the consequences I'm gonna go any length To be with you Wow. Cause I love you and I want to Look around. This is, this is really good. I know. Come, have you seen the dining section? <laughs> Do you like it? I know. <laughs> have you seen the dining section? Hey, um, what have I done to deserve everything you do for me? <sighs> Thinking about it, nothing actually. But everything I do, I do for love. All I want is for you to just love me back. Hey. Mm. I love you, fine girl. <laughs> is that one of your flattery? I know you flatter you. Mm. I'm seriously not flattering you. I love you for real. Oh, and I love you more. <laughs> Thank okay, you. so let's let's look let's go to the kitchen. Yes. You need to see the kitchen. That's it, we're doing your magic all right. What? <laughs> uh, Dr. Mike. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you very much. To what do I owe this August visit? Um well <laughs> I should break the news. <laughs> we have come to pluck that beautiful fruit you have in your house. <laughs> uh, Dr. Mike, yeah? <laughs> you started talking like this old man anymore. Oh, cool. Why don't you go straight to the point so that I can get to what you are uh, driving at? Let me break it down. Okay. Um, we are here to seek the hands of your beautiful angel, jewel, in marriage. Well, well in that case, your, your visit is a good one. Oh, eh? well, thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. Junior, welcome. Thank you, sir. Good. You're welcome. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Go and uh, call me Nelly. Uh, uh, darling, she's not at home as we speak. She's good. Uh, she never mentioned it. Oh. Yes. Um, look, why? Right, you can see Nelly is not around. That means you have to repeat this journey. Yeah? Okay, it's okay. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> So, um, oh. oh, here she is. Oh, good good day, everyone. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, good afternoon. You're welcome. Dad. Oh. Yes. Mom, what's going on? Uh, uh, Nelly, you're welcome. You left the house without telling anybody. I said they should call you for the moment. Uh, yes, Dad. I, I went out. Uh, yes. And you are right on time. Exactly. <laughs> right on, on <laughs> that. Uh, Dr. Mike, my friend, you know him now. Of course. And Junior, his son. <laughs> uh, in fact, they are here to to seek your hand in marriage. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's a happy you know, mm -hmm. get together. And luckily, you just walked in. Oh. oh. <laughs> Dad, yeah, I, I don't understand. I've said this over and over again that I don't love Junior and I cannot marry him. Well, I'm just going to have to say this for the very last time. I don't want anything to do with him. I can't marry him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dad? Son? I'm out of this place. Uh, you, you just cool down. Okay. Just, uh, wait, wait for me. Just wait for me. Junior, what is wrong with these children? Eh? What's the matter? Uh, they used to like each other a whole lot. Why growing up? 
if a soothsayer had told me that we're going to have difficulty in uniting them together, I wouldn't have believed it. Likewise. Don't worry. She's playing hard to get. Children, they're always funny. Yes. Allow her. Hmm? Mm. Allow her. If she's playing hard to get, yeah? It too, it's not easy. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. No, it's not easy. Nelly, what was that you just did? Have you completely gone insane? Eh? What have I done again? What was that you did to Michael Jr. and his father? That's what I'm talking about. Answer me now before I lose it. I just told them the truth. Which is? Well, that I don't love your son and I don't want to be with him. Why? I thought I just answered. Well, he's not my kind of man. Okay, tell me, who's your kind of man? Barista, Michael Jr. is the best for you. He has a beautiful family background. Moreover, his father and I have been friends for, for long. We are family friends. That's the problem. Why do parents insist on forcing their children together all in the name of age-long friendship? Why exactly that? You, you better start getting used to Michael Jr. because he will soon become my son-in-law. Dad, you cannot force Junior on me. That's a no-no. Nelly, I don't want to lose my temper on you. I don't want to get mad at you. Dad, I don't love Junior. I don't want to be with him. Why is, it that, why is it so difficult to understand? I hope you're not still seeing that uh, good for nothing gold digger. His name is Ken. He's the one I want to be with. I love him. How dare you sit in my presence and tell me about that good for nothing fool? That Ken is a graduate. Come on, he's a hard worker. He's not lazy. He's just a victim of the society. That's it. Don't tell me you've been frolicking with a jobless graduate. Eh, Nelly? Dad, Ken is the one I want to marry, whether you like it or not. You must be out of your senses. Did you see your daughter? Tell her that nobody messes with uh, me, Papa Ndo, of Akabuku. Nobody, not even in my house. I will not take it. Nelly, is this how you want to pay us back for everything we have done for you? Huh? Three weeks after you returned from UK, you have brought two men to this house, all in the name of marriage. Your blood group and that of David did not match, making you both unfit for marriage. He left. Now, Johnson came. Few days after, he was arrested by the Drug Law Enforcement Agency. Can't you see everything is wrong with your choices? Can't you? Can we just let bygone be bygone? Please, stop bringing up the past. Nelly, we are your parents and we want the best for you. Eh? Uh, that's why we cannot allow you to just settle down with any other man. You are our investment. Please. Nelly, we love you. We are your parents and we cannot deceive you. Don't, okay. don't, 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 don't tell me to calm down. Don't. Don't. Would you rather trigger your BP? Eh? There's a limit to what I can take from that girl. She has pushed me to the limits. Uh -uh. I don't know the name of demon that has taken hold of her. She keeps making wrong choices. 
ranging from David to Johnson and now Ken. Eh? You should also stop seeing that good formatting boy. I am going to disown her. She will cease to be my daughter anymore. I really don't like what is happening. I never saw this coming. I, Chief Ruben Papando, one of Akabu, I should be the one to choose a husband for my only daughter and not the other way around. Huh? Honey, we really need to slow down on this. I suggest we let her be. Okay? What are you even saying? What are you saying? And honey, did you notice that Junior was happy for Nelly's action? How do you even say? For the records, I don't think Junior loves Nelly. Yes, because Lover told me in confidence that Dr. Michael had to drag Junior to this house through threats. Well, in that case, in that case, I will be the one to choose another eligible suitor for her. Now, darling, do you have anybody in mind? Because she has never made a good choice. Um, honey, let me be the one to make the choices for her. What is wrong with everyone? You can't be forcing me on Junior. What's this? It's crystal clear that I don't love this guy. I feel nothing for him. Ken is the one I want, and he's the one I want to be with. Why is it so difficult for them to understand this fact? Junior, what does he want? Hello, Junior. I'm not good. What's that? About what exactly? Okay, that's fine. What do you think we should do? Alright then, I'll see you there. Seriously, I don't like what is going on. Why is it our parents are both trying to make us come together, whereas we know we don't feel anything for each other? I mean, it doesn't make sense. I think the reason is best known to them. Sincerely, if I tell you I understand what is going on, if I tell you I understand all this madness, then I'm lying to you. I mean, they, they know that we don't feel anything for each other. Why then are they pushing it? But do you know one thing I don't understand? I actually have a woman I'm in love with. Mm. I have someone I want to spend my entire life with. Mm. I brought the girl home to show my parents, but guess what? They said they don't want her. They said no to the proposal. Same here. Go. Here. The love of my life. His oh, name is Ken. Oh, he's handsome. Of course, you know I like them handsome. Yeah, I could, <laughs> <laughs> you never change. You know, I can remember in one occasion while we're still kids, you you once mentioned to me that you end up marrying a man who's handsome. So I was like, yeah, I am too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, what's that? You no, still remember that? Yeah, but and you said that to me on, too. Back then you were handsome, but now, nah. Oh, <laughs> oh please. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what's going on with my parents, sincerely. You know, the thing is, uh, when I brought my woman home for them to see her, guess what my parents said? That she's a gold digger. Same here. Oh, really? Well, they because of what had happened recently, you know, they, they said Ken was a liar and all that stuff. But it's... <sighs> I'm just so tired. My dad is super obstinate. I can imagine. Oh, it's so crazy. I swear. My darling husband, hmm? honestly, I am... I'm giving up on these children. Tired. Huh? Well, for me, I've made my points. Huh? Junior marries Nelly. That is it. That's what I want. My darling husband, don't be too hard on yourself. You know it's not good for you medically. Allow the children be. 
I can no longer continue pushing this. I am tired. I'm mm. backing out. No, please. What do you mean by that? I don't understand. I am tired, please. Tired of the whole thing. You are tired? Yes. You brought me into this. Now you are telling me you are tired. You can't do I want out, honestly. I want out. Huh? Oh, really? You want to back out now? You brought me into this, remember? Women. I know I brought him into it. But not when my son is threatening to take his life. After he has brought a woman he loves home, let's give them a chance. That girl? That gold digger? There he goes again. My husband, Sandra, is a good girl. She is not in us, those names we call her. You are not serious. I'm sure you are not. <clears throat> All of a sudden, you are chicken out now. All of a sudden! My son is important to me. Ah. So you want to mess me up because of your son? Is that? You see, there are too many questions that are really begging for answers. I mean, why would our parents want to do this to us? I mean, it doesn't make sense. Does it mean that the children of the rich can actually marry the kids of the poor? It's really annoying. Because anytime, you know, we the kids of the rich try to mingle, you know, with those children from the poor homes, they term them gold diggers. <sighs> this doesn't make sense at all, honestly. It's uncalled for. Well, um, the reason I called you out here is because um, I want us to work on something for the both of us. So what do you think we should do? Because right now I'm completely blank. Okay. Are you sure it's going to work? Um, I hope so. It will. Well, I pray, I pray it works. I pray it works. It's going to work, actually. Trust me, it's gonna work. Because all I want is just to be with Ken. He's the one I want. He's the one I love. Even though my parents do not approve of him, I love Same him. Same here. I want to I also want to be with Sandra. I love her so much. She means the world to me. Like I want to spend my entire life with Sandra. <sighs> this is not making sense at all. I swear. You know what I think? What? We are really unfortunate to have the kind of parents we have. You think so? Yeah. Look at us. I mean, we're in love with some we're in love with other people, yet they're pushing both of us together. It's sad. It's unfortunate. This is this is this is unbelievable. So uh, let me let me uh, let me show you this so you would see that. Um, that's my baby. Oh, she's cute. Yeah, she means the world to me. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> She, yeah. has, she has nice eyes. Oh, I said that before. Mm, uh, whatever. Yeah, so, um. Junior, you have been kneeling down since without a word. What is the problem? Even if there's any problem, you don't have to kneel before talking to us. <laughs> if he doesn't have anything to say, let him go into his room and sleep. You are free to go and sleep. Oh, what's all this? Um, Dad. Mom. I believe you both love me so much. And that's why you have given me the best that life can give anyone. I want to believe that as my parents, you both want my happiness. I am here as your son to appeal to both of you. Please, mom, dad, allow me marry the woman after my heart. Allow me to go where I have found peace and happiness. Please, I beg of you, please. I just need your consent to marry Sandra, please. Yeah. Junior. 
you cannot marry a daughter of nobody. You can't bring a daughter of a poverty-stricken family into my house. No way! It can't work. In that daughter of nobody, I have found peace and love. In that daughter of nobody, I have found happiness. In that daughter of nobody, I have found love beyond oceans. Please, just let me do this for once. Let me make a decision for once in my life, please. Please, I beg of you. Please, Dad, please. Your son wants to bring a daughter of nobody to my house. It will not work. Do you hear me? You can't bring a daughter of a family that has no name, no name, into this home. It will not work, Junior. But I think better. You can do that. You don't hear him. It doesn't work. Nothing will make me not marry Ken. Not even my father's threats can deter me. He's just joking. I'm just a girl in love. I didn't know I'd fall like this. What can I do to prove my point? Hello, Junior. How did it go? What's the update? Did you did you did you succeed in talking with your parents? Okay, what's the update? Oh, um, tell me about it. Okay. Oh, wow. It's, you're serious. So this is what this is all about. <sighs> I should have known. I should have known this is what they wanted. But they're just joking. But Junior, what did you tell them? I mean your parents. What do you mean nothing? I you as a man, you you should you should have something to say. Yes, I remember, but I'm tired of all those fights. It, you know what? The fact that the way things turned out like this is already making me sick in the first place. I'm thinking maybe we should get someone to talk to them on our behalf. I mean, our parents. Yes, I'll get someone to talk to them. Good night. You're welcome. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Um, excuse me for a minute. Yes, ma. Mm. Um, Tim, do you want anything to drink? Ah, uh, no, I'm fine. Okay. Mommy, I'm just feeling a bit nervous. So. You don't mm. have to be nervous. What's that? Nah, just relax your mind. See, you can prepare it. Are you sure he's still coming? I don't know. Yes, he, he, he will. You Just know, the last time relax. I was here, yeah, it was more than me. Relax, that time is in the past. You don't have to bother yourself. Where are those boys? Where are they? I... Ah! That's the other one! I'm waiting for you to turn! Where are you? Where are you? Come on! Where are you? Where is he? Where is he? They don't run come out too. They don't run come out. You are lying to run come out. You are a fool. Okay, you don't tell me to hold them. I'm for 
Hold up. Dad. Augustus. What have you done? What have you done? Exactly what I have done. I told you I don't want to see people like that again in my house. But that's not fair. You want me to get married and leave your house, right? Then you succeeded in chasing the young man who has come to ask for my hand in marriage. What's this? This, this place is out of bounds to people like that. I told you this. Don't you, can't you understand? Get used to it, that. Because that's the person I want. That's the person I want to get married to. I love him. Okay. Yes. You want to die, right? Yes, that. Kill me. Very good. Kill me instead, that. Very good. So I'm going to take you up above the skies where you want to be. <laughs> Trust me. I mean, this, there's something about you that drives me crazy. I won't do a life without you. Would you do that for me? I swear to God in heaven, I would do more. Huh? See, in life, there's nothing like choosing someone after your heart. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You know, you know, I always love you, right? I love you too, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I can stop loving you, man. Same here. Listen, mm -hmm. um, that's my name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, mom. Son, uh, can I see you for a minute? Oh, okay. I'll join you soon. It's fine, baby. Excuse me. Sure. What did you bring her home when you know your dad is around? I mean, I, I brought the woman I want to marry for my dad to see. But what wrong have I committed? You know, we are not going to give you that concept of marrying Sandra, though she's a good girl. We want you to marry Nelly. And you know the obvious reasons. Mom, what reason? For crying out loud. What other reason apart from the reason of her father's wealth? Well, whatever reason you have surrounding your decisions, it has to do with her family background. Please, I, I don't want to have this notion that my happiness is not into play. Excuse me. Son, you know what you want and that you must do. Mom. Your father is around. He mustn't see her. Mom. I don't know why you're doing this, but to be honest with you, that girl is a girl after my heart. My heart has been stolen by that girl, and that is the woman I'm marrying. If you don't mind, let me get my dad. Does it mean I don't matter anymore? Mom, 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 you matter in this. That is only if you decide to join the winning fan. This and I just hope he's safe. Eh? These rich people are so wicked. This, these rich people should just let the poor breathe. What kind of thing is this? Who is uh, the visitor you brought to my house, um, Junior? That, um, <laughs> it's... Ah. Good afternoon, Daddy. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. And uh, who is she? I'm that. She, she's, she's my fiance. Did you say your fiance? Yes, that. Um, her name is um Sandra. Um, this is the woman that has succeeded in stealing my heart. Really? Yes, that. Now? Um, that. Please. Um, I just want to beg you for something. What? Please, can I get your blessing on this one? I want to make this one permanent in my life, please. I have found a wife for myself. Please, I beg you. This is where my heart lies. Please. Honey? Yes. He wants me to bless them. And what are you going to do about that? <sighs> It's all right, you have my blessings. <laughs> thank you so much, Dad. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, yes, Dad, thank you, thank you so thank much. You, thank you. Yeah.
Thank you. Ken. My brother. How I escaped the Mara house, eh? I'm it's still doing hot. Eh? It's a miracle. Ha. Do you know I'm still trying to recover from what happened in that house? What about me? Tama literally pointed a gun at me. I was looking at him and gone like this. It's not for any intervention, no. Eh? See, I need you to take my advice and leave Nelly. Ah. Leave Nelly for your, for your own sake. See, I can't leave Nelly. I can't leave her now. The last time I checked, marriage is not a do or die affair. Chief has told you, pump and plain, to leave the daughter alone. Half of this girl now. Don't you understand? I mean, marrying Nelly is to my own advantage. Can't you see it? Wait. To your own advantage. The, this whole marriage of a thing, is it about money? Ken. Look, all, all I'm just saying is, I can't just leave the girl alone right now. I can't now. Even if it's to do anything possible to convince the family, but man, I just have to marry that girl. Okay, so it's about the money now. It's the same thing. See, let me tell you something. I know you don't like your life. This is your life that you are living. I know it's not important to you. But for Christ's sake, can you please live for your mother? That woman has suffered for you. She don't try. And only you she gets. My husband, you overreacted. You simply went overboard. What if you had shot that boy to death? No, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to blow off his brains. Huh? No, darling. It's all right. Just calm down, please. Relax your nerves. Remember your health issue. Biko, please. Let's go in. Please, my darling. My love, please forgive him. Um, I can't do this anymore. I mean, I, I just can't. Please, this is over. I can't do this. You know what I feel for you is very strong. You can't just walk away like this. Please. You shouldn't have done that now. I mean, I would have been killed all because of love. No, that's the height now. I can't, I can't take it. I'm sorry. Please. That was uncalled for. What wrong did I do? I only came to ask for your hand in marriage, which every regular guy would do. And not to be treated like a common criminal. I know, I agree. He wasn't supposed to. What he did was... I'm sorry he humiliated you. It, it was actually uncalled for and you were right. But please, I'm begging you to let it go, please. You can't be with my daughter in your father's words. So what's the essence of this relationship? When the person that's supposed to take your diary said no, Are you breaking up with me? I just can't do this, please. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, you know I love you so much. My entire existence revolves around you. Please. Can you just forgive him? I don't want to be with any other person but you. You know that. So please, I'm sorry. Forgive us, please. Come on. You see the way why just the look on her too? She they talk, what is she they talk? See, make I tell you something. If you're not careful, that Nelly will send you to your early grave. That's if you don't check it. You should count yourself lucky that man did not shoot you right in his house. By now, you for the mortuary. Your case for don't close. This girl now would do this thing with you now, but she could just she could just mourn you for probably one or two months. Maybe one senator son could just come. She go marry him. Waka. But guess what? You don't move. This money you are chasing in this family is not worth your life. It's not worth it. Come on now, you be smart guy normally now. Think now. If you dare life, hope day, options day. You don't even know whether not one, one, another billionaire daughter now will fall in love with you. You will get another chance for life. This is not worth it, bro. This man will clean your family name. And they talk, you just did that, they look with you, don't talk anything. Listen, people like this in day, you funny. What do you want make I talk now? No, that's because I have nothing to say. You have nothing to say. You should be listening to what I'm telling you. That's what you're supposed to be saying. What's going on now? Have you even thought about what this thing, this whole thing will do to your poor mother? You're not even thinking about her. Mom, 
what's going on? Is she going to be all right? Mom, talk to me. What's happening to my wife? Let me see your phone. Mom, what's going on with her? So, Mom, your wife is seriously sick. Baby, I'm so sorry that you're sick. So, Mom, what, what do we do? Baby, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Congratulations! Your wife is pregnant. Oh my, oh my God! Babe! 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 <laughs> Did you hear what she said? But I'm going to run the rest uh, test on her okay. so that I will know the exact weeks. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, Mommy. Oh, God, this is good. See, my Gina is going yeah. to be a father. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you so much. I love you. Thank you so much. Love you too, guys. Hey, I was thinking you're so sick. Oh, my God. You're going to be a father. Yeah, I'm going to be a father, you're going to be a mother too. <laughs> you know what? Um, from this time henceforth, um, you're not meant to do anything in this house. From going to the bathroom, going to the kitchen, every other chores in the house, let me handle it. <laughs> Alright? Because I don't want to stress this. Oh, this is... <laughs> Whatever I do, I have my reasons. What reason? I don't have a baby now. What? Why? I want to have kids now. Besides, I'm scared of menopause. So I want it now. <laughs> babe, babe. You're gonna crack me off menopause. You're barely 28 and you're talking about menopause. Well, is it when I'm 40 we'll start thinking of having kids? I understand, but I, you, know, you know what? Let's talk about this. I have to go to the shop right now, okay? What is it with you men? Each time I raise up a very important issue, you just want to shy away from it. What is this? Babe, like I said, man, I kept back. No, but I want to talk about this now because I really want kids. Sweetheart, it's I, what I want. I know. Like, I, I listen to you, right? When I get back, we'll talk about it, okay? Hey, I love you. And yes, I have a couple of clothes and the wardrobe is down there. Just help me tidy them, okay? I love you. I'll see you soon when I get back. Okay. Love you, guys. Truth is always hard to swallow. Why can't she be asking me to put her in the family way when we are not married? She said we should elope. I concord. We eloped together. Why can't I be pregnanting her when I haven't even paid a dime on her head? I need to do things the right way. Hmm. I'm not impregnating her until her father, Chief Ruben, accepts my diary. Yeah. What do you with this one, man? Are they hungry? Look at, since the morning I never eat. Almost 10 o'clock. No, 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 almost 10 o'clock they knock now. Huh? Eh? They never serve me food by this time. Nah. Ha! Nonsense, so. Oh. Take a breakfast. Take! No, give me. No, I'm going to Ah. Come here! Come here! What if it is? Your breakfast now. My breakfast, if I carry this thing, not go for help now. This is long cap now, go come up for help. Damn it. You just cook porridge beans for me for breakfast. Mm. What did happen to the egg, uh, toasted bread? Egg sauce and mm. plenty milk with the palm I think that. Ah. Play your mouth. What up? Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah something in your mouth. Clean now. Clean now, well. You like me very mm. well. No wonder. Clean now, well. Mm -hmm. All those things just mention now. You want them for breakfast? Yes! Now, now you talking, Mary. Get a good job. I suppose get a table. When you go there, you serve me for, hey. for this house. You don't do it. 
timetable. Yes. For you. Yes. For you. <laughs> Africa, if you Chief like, Oda. eat this food. If you like, don't eat it. Eh? You think I will die from hunger? Keep it there. Don't eat it. Eh? Man, you are don't wicked. Eat. You are wicked. I beg. No wonder you don't sacrifice this money. They cook porridge beans for me. So that if I eat and finish, what do you people gonna hear from my, 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 my backyard here? <laughs> like where they do Boko Haram for me. But it's not gonna be time for you. It's not gonna be time for you. I don't say I can't give you money. My mother can give you money to cook cook better food for me. Now you can't cook uh, porridge here for me. For this animal. That's the only way I'm able to marry. That's the only way I'm able to marry. You want me to eat that fish? What's it gonna be? Pah! 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 Eh, wait. Hmm. Hey, way. Oh, give me <laughs> Kentucky. Manum. Manum. Oh. Manum. You said it that this game was your meal ticket to wealth. <laughs> hey. Brother, my mother, how far now? One night. How was on the chat? On the chat is there. Oh. Mm. We are managing. No, no. How is the wife? <laughs> Brother, you and I know I'm not married. Eh, but you guys have been living for two months now. Look. That was not make us married. Look, I only crave that man's acceptance of my diary. I, 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 I just don't understand this whole thing. See, you need to try as much as possible to make sure that man does not control your mental health. Too. Eh? Funny thing is, Nelly wants us to start procreating. That's a good idea. See, let me tell you something. Once you guys start having babies now, that man will have no other option than to accept you. But no, no. That can't happen. Why? I mean, things have to be done the right way. The right way? Yes. Was it right when you eloped with your daughter to Asaba? What are you saying? See, my brother, this is what you've always wanted. You have it now. Everything done sure. You just have to play along. I mean, you started it now. Finish what you start. My brother, what can I offer you, Jerry? Eh? Nah. <laughs> nah. Hey, see. Do you know do you know how much is one roll of this wire? This is money, you go. <laughs> can't eat now, can't eat yourself. One, two. Hey! hey. My brother, you have arrived. Thank See, you, I'm not sure I'm going back home. <laughs> there are rooms everywhere, my brother. <laughs> if you supervisor, let me do. <laughs> oh which one now you Come on, carry, carry your plate. Carry your mouth shop. You will finish the entire food, all, all the math you are making. If I, if I, if I, for, I slap you now, if I forget my hand for your face. Okay, try now. Come, come, come. Come now, Let's do the best like it. But of course. Talk. Give with the whole action. Go ahead. <laughs> You don't day. Why well, use my arm? My eye. See Nelly. Abby, you don't say. Africa. Huh? Why are you asking me all these questions now? Why are you asking me such questions? Why? See, it be like say, that's more, madam. Don't carry your guard dollar. Run away with that boy. That boy, where they feel fine, boy. We no get shishi. We no even get naira. Talk less of dollar. Africa. Come carry money, come run away with them. Africa. Yes? It's like you don't have any job to do in this compound today. You don't have any work to do. Leave me alone, no. Ah! Go, if I slap you, now you get yourself. Are you okay? Can you slap me? <laughs> Please get smart. Ah, get away, you! <laughs> Nonsense. See, they even managed to give you yellow feet like that. Ah! Come over here. Do not say peace. You know, see, kind peace when you do. And they talk important to say, I got picking the news. They don't carry my organ on the news. I didn't hear the correct Naira. I didn't hear the talk myself. Don't let it be bomb quite a bit. Ngala Kusel. What are you saying? You mean you have not been able to reach Nelly on the phone? At least to ascertain her whereabouts? My friend, I think she must have changed her number. What? This is more serious than I imagined. I blame Chief for all of this. If he had accepted that boy in the first place, all these things wouldn't have happened. But no, 
He was eager to push her into your son's arms. You see, the moment we realized they don't have feelings for each other, we allowed our son be, right? Today, he is married to his heart trauma. Not only being married, happily married and expectant. You don't say. Yes. Very soon I'm going to be a grandmother. Sandra is eight weeks gone. Wow. This is good. If only my husband had allowed Nelly and Kai and got married, I would have been an expectant grandmom. My friend, you have to look for your daughter. She's the only daughter you've got. Papando, you must look for your daughter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't have a daughter anymore. Hmm? Nelly seems to be my daughter the day she stole my money and they looked with that, that son of a lunatic. She stole from you? Yes. She stole my dollars, my client's dollars. I kept in my wardrobe. This is serious. I didn't know all that happened. I never knew. Yeah. That's what happened. So that's why she ceased to be my daughter. And I warned them. Any day I see her or that boy, that gold digger, anywhere around my house, I'll shoot them. And I'm not missing what about mm. it. Please. Please. Temper justice with mercy. Please. Forgive her. No matter what. You must forgive your daughter. Yes. Just look at my family, for example. I allowed Junior to follow his heart. Exactly. And uh, today, he is not just uh, happily married, but he will soon become a father. And I, a grandfather. Please, let it go, my friends. I plead. Listen, doctor, your own case is different. Junior is a man. This is the lady we are talking about here. If she gets married to that gold digger, they will live off me for the rest of their life. And I won't allow that to happen. Never. Chief, see, everyone deserves a second chance. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Everyone. And then Nelly deserves a second chance. Exactly. Of course. Huh? You, see, you see, if you beat up a child with the right hand, mm -hmm. you draw her back to yourself with the left hand. Exactly. You, you must forgive Nelly. Please, Chief. Huh? I'm pleading with you as your friend. You're my friend. Please. <laughs> Please. My okay. Husband. My husband. Please, I beg of you. Bring these children home and bless their union. Please. Exactly. So you don't believe what I said to you that that boy is a good digger? Hmm? Chief, please. My friend, I beg, have your drink. Let's. Please, Chief. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm just a girl in love. I didn't know I'd fall like this. What can I do to prove my point? Cause I've made up my mind to follow my heart. I don't care about the consequences. I'm gonna go any length to be with you. Cause I love you and I want to, gotta be with you. I fell out of line, even with my pride, I fell in love helplessly. Knowing you were right for me, but I can't stop myself from loving you, from loving you. Oh, it's so easy to fall for you, I was a star who lasts forever, last forever. You love me, I love you. Together we'll stay forever. It's so easy to fall for you. It's so easy. I wish this love will last forever. You love me. I love you. I love you. Together we'll stay forever. I can't stop myself from loving you. Oh, I can't keep myself from loving you. 
My husband, please forgive her. She's our only mm. daughter. Please. What? You're saying I should forgive her after all she did? Huh? Yes, Chief. Please, forgive Nelly. Papando, for the past two years, Nelly left this house and disappeared into thin air. My friend, let's go out there in search of her. Let's do yes. it. Yes. And I said no. My, my, my friend, please, that is why I am here. Yes. That is why the two of us visited. Please. Let's plan on how we are going to look for Nelly. Yes. Mike, I'm disappointed that you are, you, are, you are telling me this. After all you know about me. After all you know about what the girl did to me. I told you she took my client's money and ran away. You want me to go and bring her back so that she will wreak more havoc with that, that liar? Babando. Why are you doing this to me? If she said it's that boy she wants, then let us give them our full support. And I said no. The money she stole from me, I am still paying for it till today. So why is everyone telling me to forgive her? Eh? I can see your hair bent on killing me before my time. But know this, even in death, I will never forgive you. My spirit will haunt you for the remaining days of your life. Oh, no, no, don't say that. Oh, Madam. 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 Come back. Madam. Uh, my, my friend, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. Ah. I'm not like that. I'm, I'm down. No, 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 no. Let's go and look for the Let's do the uh, needs for. That's where we the fact that I said no. Chief. Papandu. Papandu. Chief, please. Allow it to fly. Please. Let's not do well on the past. So that we can forge ahead. Be calm, Chief. Chief, please, sir. Yeah, do, uh, uh, drink your, your drink. Asaba is fine. How is on the chair? Sam, you needed to see who I just saw. The MD's daughter. Yes. Ah, ah, Sam, she, she's looking so haggard. The Nelly you know, that beautiful Nelly, she's now looking very, very unkept. Sam, she's in the wrong hands. She's in the wrong hands. She's not looking fine at all. I've never been serious. Sam, I'm very, very serious. You, you need to see how she looks so, so bad. Um, anyways, Sam, I have to go. I have to go. Hmm? I have to go. <laughs> Sam, of... <laughs> Baby. Mm -hmm. Chief Ruben's branch manager saw me today at the mall. Babe, I thought I told you to stop frequenting the mall. I mean, you could go to the market to get whatever you want. Imagine him asking if I was okay, that I don't look good to him. You don't look good? Like this? Well, yeah, I actually thought about it. The truth is, I, I, I don't look good. I think you're overstressing me. What he said is true. I, I'm not the way I used to be. I. You think I'm overstressing you? What were you thinking? You think my discharge play? Huh? All I'm saying is, um, you should help, you know, help out with um the chores in the house since we don't have a maid due to your insistence so i feel like you could help me a little bit here and there so i will go to the shop 
and you film to come back home and do the house chores when I have a woman in the house. How? Eh? Babe, it's not like I did any chores in my father's house. I had domestic staff for that. Oh, well, it's unfortunate you did not come with anyone here. But all I'm saying is you could just help out a little. Just a little. You I'm know not what I'm saying? Hey, babe, enough of these complaints, please. Do you, do you realize that I, I, I do all the chores? I still perform my duties in the bedroom. I'm human too. Enough of these complaints, okay? By the way, I'll be traveling to the village. So. Village? But, you, you frequent the village these days. Are you building? And you haven't told me? If I was building, I would tell you. I mean, why should I hide anything from you? You'd be my support system. Besides, you haven't introduced me to your mom. I will, okay? Hmm? I love you. I love you too. I should go take my bath. Okay. Nelly Nasaba. Yes, ma'am. I saw her right in the morning. She pretended not to understand what I was talking about. She even had the boldness to, to make it clear to me that she doesn't have a father. That her father is dead. What? Babondo, did you hear that? No, I didn't hear that. Babando, are you not going to say anything? Hi! I have lost my daughter completely. Oh. Hi! Ma, you people should try and bring her back to the family. Because when I saw her, she, she didn't look fine at all. She, she looked so haggard and emaciated. How am I sure my daughter is fitting well in the hands of that boy? Eh? Her father disowned her. She equally disowned her father. Which normal human being does that? Eh? Hey! Thank you, Papa Mikeo. Oh, can see, Je? Hey, Jimo. Ma, my intuition tells me she's passing through hell in the hands of that guy. From the look that I saw that day, she's not fine. She's not fine. The worst part is that she switched off her phone immediately she left this house so that we cannot reach her. Yeah? This is more than I imagined. Honestly. I have a bigger challenge now. Which is? Where to find her? Of course the shopping mall you saw her is not her house. I need to know where she stays. I will try my best. I will try my best. We need to find her. She needs to return back to her family. Uh, yes, please. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'll try my best. Thank you. I'm just a girl in love. I didn't know I'd fall like this. What can I do to prove my point? Oh, who is that? Because I'm made up my mind Whoa. to follow my heart. Oh, I don't care about okay. the consequences. Hold on. I'm gonna go in the land to be with you because I love you and I want to gotta be with you. Yes. I hope my friend is in. Well, he traveled. Oh, he went to Lagos? No, 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 no. He went to the village. To the village? He didn't tell me he was traveling. Well, his mom called him. I think it's urgent. Well, in that case, I should be going back to Anita. Uh, no, 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 no. Sit, sit, sit. Don't, let me entertain you now. Uh, no, don't worry. Next time, okay? I insist, please. Just sit. Let me at least entertain you. Oh, okay, no problem. <laughs> hey! You can increase the volume if you want. Our wife! <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you.
been a while. I'm telling you. Ah, ah. Please. Uh, please then. Eh? You take this. Let me prepare something in the kitchen for you, okay? <laughs> no problem. Thank you. You're welcome, eh? Let me rush to the kitchen, eh? I'll okay. be right back. Thank you. My son, I called you here for an important discussion. Ma, I know why you called me here. You know why I called you? Yes, Mama, I got your message, that's why I'm here. Kennedy, since you already know why I called you, I want to ask you, when are you giving me my grandchildren? Grandchildren, Mama, with who? With the rich man's daughter, Nelly. The one you're staying with. Mama, I can't have any children on Nelly. I can't have any child with her. Did I hear you well? I hope you didn't mean what you are saying. A girl that have sacrificed her life for you. A girl that left to what she was. Everything about her to come and live with you to make sure that you are happy. The same girl that made you what you are. That you're looking good today is that girl. People have messed you up, called you a sort of names. Is that girl that made you what you are today? And you want to leave her for who? Mama, Mama have you forgotten what she did? The girl that stole dollars from me. Is that who you want me to go have children with? Just imagine what you're saying. She stole dollars for you. Is it not to better your life? Is it not to make you what? Just imagine what you're saying. You're not calling her a thief. Because she stole something to make to better your life. Eh? Mama, I don't love her. Yes, she must have done all these things for me, made me look better and all, but I can't have kids with Nelly. Hi. Kennedy, I'm so surprised at you. Honestly, I'm highly disappointed in you for saying all these things. For a girl that have made you what you're a girl that made people started respecting you. You now want to name her that she's a thief. Now listen, I will not take this soon. I've not heard what you're saying. You must marry that girl. I don't understand what you're saying. Which means what she was telling me all this while is true. Yes, I have to believe her then. Mom. Mm, I'm actually cooking in the kitchen. Nothing much. No, of course, of course. I'll do a follow up. My heart, I don't care Who is it? You know what? I'll call you back, okay? Let me attend to the door. I'm gonna go and Hold on! To be with you. Cause I love you and I want to. Gotta be with you. You only come inside, though. Ah, ah. This is my friend. I fell in love. Help me sleep. This is. You're welcome, ma. Hey. Mm -hmm. oh, you <laughs> Mommy, please sit. You've had a really long journey, sit down. Thank you, my daughter. You're welcome, ma. Thank you, welcome. <laughs> that looks so. <laughs> From the pictures, I know you're Ken's mother. Yes. <laughs> and you are Nelly. Yes, ma. Hi. You are so beautiful. Thank you, ma. <laughs> oh, my Thank you, ma. Hi. Thank you, mommy. You're so um, mommy, you know what? Let me quickly entertain you, okay? Uh, uh, mommy, before mm? then, I want you to enjoy this movie, okay? It's very interesting, trust me. Uh, uh. Is it a Sophia movie? <laughs> it's a Sophia movie that I like watch. Oh my god. No, there's no Sophia in this one. Uh. But trust me, this is super interesting. You will enjoy it, I promise you. It's comic. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Let me quickly get you something, okay? Thank you. Okay. Hey. <laughs> hey. Ah. All oh, this, my son must be very, very lucky to have this beautiful girl as a wife. My rich man. Hi. Some rich men children, they, 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 are, they used to be disrespectful. But in Nelly's own, she's different. Very, very respectful. Hi. Mommy. Hey, one more. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Take this one, eh? Yes. Oh. Just use it as appetizer. All this for me. Yes, I'm preparing something in the kitchen for oh, you. Thank this you one now. is just appetizer. Uh, I guess for me. Let me uh, quickly round up in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's appetizer? Appetizer. 
I don't know why these people that are learned, they used to give names in everything. Is this a not much? It's not only giving, giving it apata, apata, I don't know. Do I even know what is apatanza? I don't know what is apatanza. But anyway, my son must be very, very lucky. Yes, I don't know why her father is very, very stubborn. Eh, he doesn't want to allow them be. He should allow them now. Eh? Hi. <sniffs> Hello. Eh? Hey. Eh? Uh -huh. It's not now. Mm -hmm. It's not. <laughs> My daughter. I'm asking because I'm concerned now. Mm -hmm. I take concern. Um, you and my son should give me grandchildren. I need to carry my grandchildren. Biko. Mommy, it's not my fault. I don't understand. Are you telling me that it's my son's fault? Exactly my point. I don't know the reason Ken is doing what he's doing. What is he doing? Can you believe that? When Ken and I make out, he practices the withdrawal system. Hey, huh? manager put around my grandchildren. Something you positioned well. For my son to you use it and mold my beautiful grandchildren. That's what my son is removing. Eh? What is wrong with this boy? Is he mad? Eh? What has come over him? Honestly, Mama, I don't know what else to do. I've tried my best. I, I've done everything I can, sacrifices and all, just to show him how much I care about him. But I, I sincerely don't know what the problem is. My daughter, you don't need to worry. I'm here now. We must sort it out before I go. I, I, I have to talk sense into him. And I know he's my son. If I talk to him, he would listen. Don't worry. I'm going to talk sense into him. Enona, he will come and meet me here. Ebuilem. Ebuim. Ebuilem. Mommy, if you be the one to speak with him and he will listen, I suggest by all means you do. Because I don't know what else to do. Don't worry. Okay. Ken is my son. And I know if I talk to him, he will listen. Can you imagine I even suggested that we have a court wedding? You know, pending when my parents will come around. But he blatantly refused. Hey, wo. Hey! Is anything wrong with my son? I hope... I hope it's not what I'm thinking. What? My daughter. I, 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 let it not be that my son cannot produce a, a, a children. Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, John. Oh, are you sure he can produce children? No, um, I, I don't. <laughs> that's not the problem. Uh -huh. Yes, Ken is all right down there. He's a hundred percent. Trust me. He, he just, I, I don't know what's come over him. I really don't understand. But as for fathering any child or children, he's very okay. Hmm. My daughter, don't worry. Eh? I'm here now. Eh? I'm going to sort everything out before I go. And on that one, don't, don't worry again. Thank you. Uh -huh, one. Mommy, please eat your food. It's getting cold. One. Try to one. Why the poor again, Mamma? No, Thank don't you, worry, Mama. it's well. Hmm? Yes. Tell us, go. go. <laughs> nah, honestly, wherever your father is now, wherever your father is in the grave, he will not be happy with you. See what his son has become. Honestly, 
Mama, I'm in this village for three reasons. Which are? To see you and check out my ongoing project that is happening here. And also find myself a good girl in this community, a girl I can marry. Oh, oh, nah, I... Oh, so, which means all this why you are phoning that girl? Eh? Lekwanya Kennedy. I am not a part of this. I am not part of this at all, at all. I am not part of this. I didn't hear you. Let me go and get your food. Mama, Mama, don't worry. I'm not hungry. Let me just quickly go and check out the guys, my project. Let me know what is happening there. When I come back, I'll eat. Who did this to my son? Who did this to my son that my son will not give me grandchildren? Who must have placed a curse on my son that he should not bear children? Whatever that person is planning, it will not work for him. Nelly, you don't look good to me. Who doesn't know the beautiful daughter of Chief Ruben? You were a ravishing beauty. The reason Ken fell in love with you in the first place. I understand that you're looking out for me, but honestly, I'm fine. I don't believe you. Is there something you're not telling me? Are you going through some emotional stress? Nothing. Then you must have been stressing yourself one way or the other. There is nothing. Nelly. I know that you're going through a lot at this point. It is time you go back to your father. No, I won't do that. Every father should want the happiness of their children and not the other way around. A father who doesn't want to see me happy or happy with the choice that I've made doesn't deserve to be called a father. How long are you going to continue? For as long as possible. If they want me to come back, then they have to accept Ken. Reunite with your family first. It doesn't cost a thing. No. Even if you want to marry Ken, you still need the consent and approval of your family, as well as their blessings. Even Ken is not happy with the way things are going with you too. See, I've heard you. I know all those things. I'm not daft. Huh? Go on. Hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, hello, hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What are you doing here? Um, okay. I came to check on my brother. Oh, I I see. <laughs> I see. Um, my man is my name is Ken. Amaka. Such a pretty name for a pretty lady. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Dad, are you trying to say that Chief is still hell bent on this? Chief is still hell bent in not forgiving his only daughter. In that case, not even the poor can marry Nelly. <laughs> it's not about his poor state. Chief said that the guy in question is a missing. But he lied to them that he's a contractor. And the boss is that Nelly made away with Chief's dollars mm. and left home. It is actually more serious than I thought. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. <laughs> and the worst is that nobody knows her whereabouts. That's hmm. the problem. Ngalakwesi told me in confidence that Nelly has destroyed her SIM card. This is mm. Mm. Well, you all know I've tried calling her several times and I can't get through to her. Mm. Oh, really? Yes, I did. I called her three times, but I can't get her. Uh, I think I'll still call Chief. I'll talk with him. Well, um, I guess you wouldn't stop calling him to see if he can change his mind. No, 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 no. Uh, all I need to do is to keep pestering him so that uh, he will do the needful. Mm. In as much as I know that what Nelly did was bad. But Amandu has to forgive her and let them make peace. <laughs> huh? She make peace. You know my friend very well. Chief is very obstinate. You know him. 
but say what both Papando and Nelly, this whole situation has put Ngala Kwesil in a very tight corner. Her BP has been high since all this started. She has been on drugs. As for me, my conclusion is that this whole thing is very bad. This is really bad. Mm. Where could she be? Eh? Well, who knows? That boy, that boy ha. snatched her away from my son. The messing guy didn't know shit. He didn't snatch any shit from her. Is that what you have to say? It is what it is, that You, you didn't play your game, man. You didn't play your game well. That you didn't play your game well. Um, so tell me, uh, are you based in this village? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, who's your father? Um, my father is um, Ogaziamaka. Ogaziamaka? Yeah. Ah, uh, wait. Do you know my father? Yes! You're <laughs> famous, you a famous musician that plays in ceremonies, traditional weddings. And, uh, exactly. Uh, are you serious? Yes, yeah, my so father. So you're the daughter to Ogaziamaka? Wow. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. Thank um, you. Uh, so, uh, are you married? Do I look married? I don't know. Just... I'm not married. I'm oh. still a student. It makes it better. I don't understand. Well, that's because I would soon be a son in law. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> huh. You're very funny. I'm, I'm serious. Look, the truth is, I actually came to this village in search of a beautiful wife, and I think I've seen one. <laughs> I'm still very laughing. Because he's very funny. Ah, uh, okay. You just met me. Uh, okay, no problem. I will think about it. Okay, yeah. okay. So, basically, this is one of my sites. Wow. Yes. Ah, he's very big, go. I know, thank you. <laughs> and he's very fine, so. Thank you. <laughs> um, can I have your number so I could let you go? Um, um, no worries, fine. I could always talk to your brother. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, Corey. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. I wish I could make it up there. Doesn't matter how, even with my pride. You see, this is what I've been talking about. Hmm. Honestly. You see, everything should be blamed on parents for their choices on their so called children. Yeah, you're right. I so much feel for Nelly. You know, at some point, we were both in this together. But after so much persuasions, um, our both parents have to let us be. Now we are together. Yeah. But why is Chief Ruben so difficult? Oh, Chief. Chief is such a hard nut to crack. <laughs> He's not an easygoing person. <laughs> you mean the stubborn type? You know, one thing about Chief is that he's stubborn. But trust me, he was doing the right thing by trying to protect his daughter. But just that the doctor didn't see him from that perspective. You see, um, what the doctor said is that the guy is a graduate, agreed. But then he doesn't have a job. Hmm. Well, I think he should go in search of his daughter. Who? Chief? Chief? Yeah, Chief. Uh -huh. Babe, I swear to anything, you don't even know Chief. Chief would never go in search of his daughter. That right. man. Such a hard head, I swear. He's not like that. That's not fair. It is his daughter we are talking about here. You should go in search of her. What? The same chief that I even heard that referred to the guy as a gold digger? What? Yeah, of course. He said uh, the guy is a gold digger. The same thing your parents told me. Well, well at least we won. <laughs> My parents said that, but we won. Yeah. Yeah, we do. I have you. And I have you too, baby. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, baby. No, please. Mind the way you're turning your stomach, girl. Oh. Our baby, our baby. Yeah, please. Right. Please, 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 please. It's fine. Please. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, just let me know when you're hungry so I can make you something. Yeah. 
I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Engineer Greg is doing an amazing job at my site. I mean, I never knew that man who actually knows his onions that good. Ah, Mama, don't worry, very soon eh? I'll just take you there so you can see what's going on on my site. Eh? Eh, hey, Mama. Hmm. I met a very, very beautiful girl today. She said she's uh, Ogaziamaka's daughter. Hmm. Ah, Mama, the girl is so beautiful. Look, I can't even wait to make that girl my wife. Ah, Mama, you want this girl? Oh, sharp now. Hey! Mama, I'm talking, you're not saying anything. Mama? Mama, you're not going to talk to me. Kennedy. Mama? I can't answer. I'm not going to go to PC. I can't answer. Your food is ready. When you're ready to eat, it's on the dining table. Welcome. You look so good. Thank you, darlings. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mom, where's we... Nelly and why did she come to pick us from the airport? Yeah. Oh, okay. you, your sister went out. Went out? Yes. Isn't she aware her brothers are coming back from Canada today? What do you mean? Hey, come on, my children. Your sister knows that her brothers are returning from sojourn in Canada. So? Like I said earlier, she went out. Okay, can you give us a new line so we could call her to tell her we're home? <sighs> Unfortunately, my darling, she hasn't changed that line after she lost her phone. <sighs> Look, it's good, bro. At least we're home, right? Good. When she gets back, she will see us. She'll meet us here. Please, come on, 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 come about our missing daughter and how you are the reason she left home. So now that you have reported me to him, what has he solved? I never knew that I was married to a wicked man. Huh? I will always tell you the whole truth. How am I sure you don't belong to any secret court? If I'm a member of a secret court, what would you do? You run away? What triggers the brick of conscience? You need to save your energy for the worst to come because I have not even started yet. <laughs> Mom, what is it? What is all this bickering about? Uh... Your sons are here. Tell them. Uh... Tell them where their sister is because I can no longer continue to lie about the whereabouts Nelly to them. I will not. Uh... Yeah. Uh, you cannot drag me to your level. Never. You will not. But let me say for the sake of emphasis, any day I see her feet in this house, I will kill her. What? I'm not joking. No. What are you talking about? You kill your own daughter. Ah, shut up. You join me. Mom? Mom? Please, what's this all about? Where is Billy? Why did you ask your father? I believe he's in a better position to answer that. So you mean you lied to us when we asked about Nelly's whereabouts? The more reason I reported your father to the parish priest. But mom, why will a father disown his own daughter? I mean, what for? I mean... Mom? Yes? Taz just asked a very vital question. What could she have done that is this bad? Theft. Theft? Theft. <laughs> How? Listen, my children, a lot has happened in your absence. Okay, we have time. Go on. Well, I never knew things would turn out this way. Not that I'm in support of what Nelly did, but it's high time your father stopped. Huh? I was against her choice of man, but when I found out that the, what we were doing to her was driving her nuts, I had to let go. Mom. You are really confusing us the more. Eh? What is this all about? Okay, you go straight to the point. 
I blame myself 100% for what is happening to my daughter. If I had given her my consent, things wouldn't have turned out this way. Now look at what is happening to my family. Why is everyone <sighs> talking in parables? I don't even understand anything. God. Why are you sounding so irrational? You're wicked. I hope you know what they're talking about. And what are you going to do to me? <laughs> Ruben, sorry to disappoint you. My head is way stronger for you people. What do you mean by that? Figure it out yourself. Since you claim you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I hope you are in control of all these things you are saying. Huh? Ruben, swallow your ego and go find my daughter for me. Else you will not have peace in this house. Ruben, you heard me. There will be no peace. And I'm leaving this room for you to the guest room. You should be going to your father's house instead. Um, babe. Mm -hmm. I made some pasta. Should I serve you? Uh, well, don't worry. I'm not hungry now. I'll eat soon. I'm hungry, okay? Okay. Uh, babe, hold on, please. I. I need to pick this call, okay? Uh, hello? Hello? Hello, Omi, how are you doing? Uh, work is fine, the work is going on fine, we're, we're pushing. So, tell me, what is this news you wanted to tell me? If, if, I, agree to, if I agree to marry me? Are you, are you serious? <laughs> yeah! Of course, I'm, I'm excited! I mean, <laughs> this is, this is good news. Uh, it was actually mm. come on, it was a long time friend that I met when I went to the village. Mm, one of the last good over. Mm. I see. Yeah, so babe, um I'll be traveling to the village for my mother's is in the installation. Really? Mm -hmm. Then I'm coming with you, right? Um no. No? What do you mean no? No, 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 something like this cannot be happening and you're telling me no. No, I don't get it. What? I... Babe, hey, babe, calm down. Um, I mean, no, like, I'll go on my own, okay? No, this one, this time, I must go with you. And that's fine now. Come on. Mommy is having her uh, a conferment and you're telling me that I will not. That's that's a happy moment. That's, babe, that's the time I need to be there. No, I have to go with you, babe, please. Hey, calm down. Don't get it twisted now. You're serious, aren't you? You know what? Never mind. Uh, but, no, babe, no, you can go. Babe, hey, listen. No, no, no don't, look. Don't touch me. Babe, I'll be going to other places now. I'm not going to the streets. I have other places to branch. Okay, my love. Okay, you know what? The next one, we'll go together, please. You can just go and just leave me. Please. I'm not going to leave you. Please, now. Can you leave me? Huh? Um, I will leave you for the city pretty soon. Um, I would want my wife, my newly wedded wife, to stay here while I go, you know, arrange things for her to come. Fia, I did not hear you well. Assure Chak Etoro, she will never stay here with me. Never. Um, not while I'm alive. Mama, Mama, why can't she stay here? This, this is my father's house now. And it's my husband's house. I would dictate who will stay here with me and who will not stay here with me. She will not. Mama, Mama, why are you talking like this now? Why would you not? Why would she stay here with you? Eh? I said she will not stay here. You want me to support you? You stabbed Nelly at the back by going to marry Amaka, the Ogazi Amaka's daughter. And you want me to bring her in to support you in your crime? I will not. So wait, Mama. It's because of Nelly you refuse to follow me eh? to meet the kinsmen. Eh? It's because of Nelly you refuse to even accept the mar my marriage with Amaka. Because of Nelly. Of course, yes. 
You don't expect me to join you in that kind of uh, atrocity. Eh? Do you know what the, the gravity of the offense you committed? A girl that made you what you are. Oh my, you it, left it, her. Is it a crime for me to marry your uh, other woman? I said no now. Nah. If that girl, if you don't want to take that girl along with you to live in the city, take her back to her parents. She will not stay here with me. Take her back to Agaziamaka's place to go and stay and wait for you. She will never stay in this house with me. Never. Mama? Each of my people can say the, the, your mother supported you. How? I can never support such atrocity. Look at the way these girls uh, made you. She made you what you are. And at the end, look at the way you pay her. Eh? You paid her with, 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 uh, with, with, with sadness, with grief. I, I will not support that. Biko, just no, no, leave no, me no. alone. No problem now. No problem. Eh, no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Uh -uh. Who did this thing to my son? Who did this to him? So, um, I'll be going back to the city so I could complete the house and building over there. Wait. You're building in the city and village at the same time? God is good. <laughs> I mean, business is booming. Um, but I don't understand. Where are you staying currently? Uh, um, okay, um, so my landlord gave all the tenants quick notice. Why? Because the bank bought the place and I'm sure they want to use the land for something else. Oh, okay, fine. Why can't I stay with Mama? Hey, look, you can't stay with Mama, okay? But why? Oh, fine, I noticed Mama doesn't like me. You know what? Look, don't think about it. Let me just go back to the city, okay? Finish up my house, do everything, you know, and come on, we stay away from here, okay? <laughs> that is funny, but I'm not happy about it. Okay, it's gonna be fine, okay? Good time, come. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't miss me so much. I'll be back soon. I will. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll definitely miss you. I you know. Uh, um, so why don't you just walk me a little bit, okay? I'm just a girl in love. I didn't know I'd fall like this. What can I do to prove my point? Because I've made up my mind. I am so sure. When I was leaving father's house, I brought my certificates here. I'm gonna go in the land. It can. To be with you. <laughs> no, no. He wouldn't dare. Mm -mm. But well, where could they be? I fell out of line. <sighs> Even with my pride. I fell in love helplessly. <sighs> Knowing you were right for me. But I can't stop myself from loving you. I'm loving you. So we will fall for you. I will love and last forever. You love me, I love you. Together we'll stay forever. So we will fall for you. I will love and last forever. You love me, I love you. Together we'll stay forever. I can't stop myself from loving you. Oh, I can keep yes. myself from loving you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Super sweet. Oh. Nice. Ah, oh, man, who keeps pictures this day? Yeah. 
Is his twin? I guess no. No, no. No, he can't. He can't be real. No, wake up. Wake up. This I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. Just wake up. Wake up. You're still dreaming. This is not. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, he won't do this to me. No, 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 no. No, God, no. Not to me. You used me. You deceived me. Why? Hey, um, look, I'm sorry. I, I never meant to. You never meant to what? I, I never meant to hurt you. Um, really? What exactly did you mean to do, Ken? You stand there and you, you're you saying sorry to me. For what exactly? Hey, please forgive me. For, for using me? Tell me. I'm listening again. Sorry. You're sorry? I'm also sorry, Ken. I should apologize to you, Ken. I stole for you, Ken. I made a lot of sacrifices for you. So, if you're saying sorry, what exactly are you sorry for? For getting caught? You're not sorry, Ken. And it's okay. You won. I lost. Maybe. I'm sorry. I gave you years of my life, Ken. My parents were always right about you. They were the voice of reason. But I was too stupid to see. Can I... My father ostracized me for you. And you, you got married, right under my watch. I should kill you, but you're not even worth it.
Да, С кои се тук, нели? You want to go search for your sister? You go now. Why are you all making it look as if I'm a bad person? Adam, I'm not going to go with you. Dad, I don't understand. Your only daughter has been missing for two whole years. And you're not even bothered. I don't guess it. <laughs> and her daughter walked away from her family home. Did I drive her? Did I chase her away? She walked away on her own and you're asking me to go looking for her. But, but mom said you disowned her. Is that all she told you? Yes. Didn't she tell you that she stole my $10,000? But dad, to her is human. To forgive is divine. Eh? Just find a place in your heart to forgive her. We have only missed our sister ever since we came back. We have not seen her. I mean... <laughs> Ruben, if you know what is good for you, go and get my daughter. Else, I'm going to raise down this whole house. Ah, Richard, can you say what you cannot do? Raise down what? Okay. Look, Mom, it hasn't gotten to that. We are all traveling down to Asaba. Look for Nelly. By God's grace, we'll find her there. Dad, you're coming with us. Count me out. Not coming with you to anywhere. I cannot. Somebody walked away from home and want me to go looking for her. You want to go, like I said, you go. I cannot stop you. Nelly, Nelly. Nelly. My darling. Yeah. What, what happened? You, you don't look okay. Dad, I'm so sorry for everything. I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. What went wrong? Mom, he got married right under my nose. He only confessed to me when I saw his traditional marriage photographs today. But I thought he loves you. Mom, he never loved me. He never did. He only saw me as his meal ticket out of poverty. <laughs> Your dad was right after all. <laughs> dad, I am so sorry. I should have listened to you. See? <laughs> what an old man sees sitting down. A young child will not say it even if he climbed the mountain top. I said it from the onset. That boy was a gold digger. Find a place in your heart to forgive her. I think she has finally realized her mistake. Please, darling. <laughs> Babandu, my love, please, I beg you. She's your only daughter. Get up. Thank you. Thank you, darling. It's all right, darling. <laughs> Nelly, I'm so happy to have you home. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, dear. I have missed you a great deal. Nelly, at least you're here now. Okay, I'm here. Yeah, I'm going to see you. I'm starting work of jail on Monday. No time to waste. Uh, honey, I am so sorry for misunderstanding you. I never knew you were right in your judgments. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am so sorry. I forgave you long ago. Hmm. So, can I come back to our room? I didn't drive you from the room. You went out of your own personal one. So okay. If you want to come back, you come back. Alright, I'm coming back as soon as possible. In fact, after dinner. Come back. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So we can. Uh, uh, you know, darling. <laughs> he shall never be well with that boy. He came to destroy our peaceful home. When I was telling you that the boy was the good leader, you thought I hated our brother and I don't want to have it. He must pay dearly for what he has done. He must. No, we're not for the crosses. Let's just leave him to God. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. she's right. No. Nelly, dear, are you okay? Yes, ma'am. You, you're not eating your food? That's fine. Alright. Eat up, okay? Actually, I was driving by and I decided to say hi. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so thoughtful of you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, what would you expect when I have a beautiful friend like you? Actually, an old friend. So oh, that. <laughs> hi, is dad and mom how are they? Oh, they should be fine. What do you mean they should be fine? I talked to them on the phone. I mean, they should be fine. You. You don't, you don't live at home anymore? Oh, come on. That's a long time ago. I've, I've moved out of the house, man. I stay alone with my family. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, nice one. Let me tell you this. Yeah? When I got married... Okay. I thought it wise to leave the house for them because I, I found out I needed privacy with my wife. Ah. Uh. I can see the result of that privacy. Oh, really? Oh, I'm looking in it. Oh, come on, Junior, you're naughty. Mm. Well, the truth is, my wife is actually doing a good job. <sighs> Decorum. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you will never change. So, tell me, you just strolled here without even getting me anything. What's wrong with you? Well, um, what is wrong with me stopping by to say hi to my old friend? No, there's there's nothing wrong with you stopping by. There's actually something wrong with you not getting me a drink at least. Okay, yeah. maybe I'll do that the next time I come around. I promise you that. But meanwhile, I need to hurry up back to my chambers. Mm. I'll see you some other time. Yeah, lots of criminals that need to get out. <laughs> <laughs> you always like this. Oh. Take care of you, Junior. Right, and my right. regards to Sandra and the kids. Okay. Tell them I'll come see them, see them one of these days, okay? Alright, darling. Alright, take care. <laughs> oh, Junior. Gracious me. Nelly! Mm -hmm. um, sorry, have we met? Bobby. Engineer Bobby, the electrician. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> you changed a whole lot. Well, let's just say we are aging gracefully. Oh, yes. nice. <laughs> really nice. So, what about your man? Uh, we broke up. Oh, so sorry. What happened? <sighs> Well, it's a long story. Let's just... You can make it short. <laughs> long story short, found out he had a wife. End of story. That's too bad. One of those things. Uh, well, my parents told me that you lost your wife. So sorry about that. Um, yeah, she died during childbirth. Oh, so sorry. Thank I'm sorry, you. I didn't mean to remind you of 
what had happened to you in the past. Well, it's okay. Uh, so, what happened to your car? Well, I don't know. It just sort of, sort of started jerking. Then it stopped here, and I've been here trying to figure it out, but to no avail. I don't know. Okay, let me just take a look. Just stop. You can see we're pushing it. Uh, how have you been since the last time I saw you? Where have you been? Yeah, I traveled to the village. Okay. My aunt sent for me, so she asked me to come and see something in the village, which I didn't like. Oh, I guess she wanted to buy land, <laughs> right? Um, Nelly, what about us having a dinner date tonight? <sighs> Please don't say no. Please. Uh, okay. So, is that a yes? Uh, sure. Sure. Thank you. Why are you thanking me? Of course, for accepting to go on a dinner date with me. Mm. Oh. Well, I can see you're doing real well. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm just a girl in love. I didn't know I'd fall Thanks like for inviting me out. You're welcome. <laughs> Nelly, <laughs> I've missed you once before, and I am not ready to miss you again. I want you to be the mother of my kids. Good to see you. Mm. Uh, why are you off to on foot? Your car? Uh, I was actually headed down the road to go see a friend. Uh, okay, and your car? And all this thing happened. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. I could just give you a lift. Uh, no, no, no. Just I'm not going too far. Just down the road. Are you pregnant? Ah, uh, yes, married and pregnant. Ah, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. I'm sure your wife and kids are doing great. Yeah. Super. Okay. It's just have a good day. You too. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.
heart fall like this What can I do to prove my point? Cause I made up my mind To follow my heart I don't care about the consequences I'm gonna go any length To be with you Cause I love you and I want to Gotta be with you I fell out of line Even with my pride I fell in love helplessly Knowing you were right for me But I can't stop myself from loving you I'm loving you Oh, it's so easy to fall for you. I wish this love would last forever.